Voju, are you guys um, hearing like a lot of wind, or is that just in our headphones? Because I'm I'm hearing quite a bit of wind in the uh, in the old headphones. But it could just be the wind hitting the headphones, is what Andy reckons. Which yeah, I'm hoping. it's hard to tell. Yeah. Right, it should be live. Like, if it's not live now. Right, are we live this time? Yeah, are we live on YouTube? Are we live? YouTube? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, we've got the notification this time, so that's good. Oh, there's something heavy on the way in as well. Check, check, check. Check, check. YouTube, check. Yep, YouTube looks like it's good now. Are we Gucci? That was weird. Ladies and gents on YouTube, here we go. We've just done this intro, but we'll do it again. Welcome to 2022 on Airliners Live, ladies and gentlemen. It wouldn't be Airliners Live without a little hiccup here and there. But um, we got a couple of heavies around, but let's cut away to them and then we'll roll the intro. But um, a very, very good morning to you guys. 3.30 touching down and a Dreamliner on the way out as well. Oh, yes. Another Virgin 3.30, it looks like. Let us know if you can hear both of us as well. Mrs. Airliners Live, hello. You can hear the wind as well. Okay. Yeah. There's not much we can do about the wind, I'm afraid. I'm just curious as to how much worse it is the wind, though. That's what I want to know. Right. But uh, I'll have a listen in a moment. Virgin 330 just arriving here at Manchester Airport. It's the first arrival of 2022 on Airliners Live, and it's a Virgin 330. Can't complain with that. Let us know if you can hear the aircraft as well, guys, please. Oh, we are going to vacate directly ahead of us. Nice. We are running the brand new sound setup, guys, so be aware there may be some tweaking today that we need to do. But be patient, because it will be worth it. Um, but please let us know your thoughts in the chat. What Are a fantastic the view there. Guys. Aircraft sound is excellent. Nice. And how is that balanced, ladies and gents? Are we nice and balanced with the aircraft sound? Or does one need to go up, one need to go down? Because what we're going to do is we're going to save these settings as a bit of a snapshot. Nice. And yeah, uh, good, good then we can use them every show then, guys. So it's definitely worth spending a little bit of time together this morning uh, just doing a bit of tweaking, ladies and gents. But uh, yeah, brand new sound setup, so we're, we're hyped, guys. Nice and balanced, says the Twitch chat. Nice. Virgin Atlantic 330 just vacating directly ahead of us. Aircraft sound could go down a touch, Roger. I, uh, I agree with that actually after turning my headphones up a bit. Aircraft a little louder than you right now. Um, yeah, exactly, Jen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, everyone's saying sound is awesome, guys. <laughs> hey, nice. let's go. It boy. worked. We didn't cheap out on this setup. I'll tell you there that. we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Airliners Live 2022. We hope you had an absolutely fantastic Christmas. A uh, very happy new year as well. Um, welcome to the show, guys. It's going to be the big year for Airliners Live. Mm. The first year where we're going into it full time from the very beginning. We just invested an absolute fortune in a brand new sound setup, ladies and gents. Yeah. Um, a lot, a lot of money has been reinvested back into the channel for this. The device that we're using um, is used on things like Netflix and all of that sort of stuff. So it's the really good quality stuff. Me and Brown Bill uh, done a lot of research and obviously we, we worked in the audio industry for a long time as well. Um, so we're very happy with the equipment. Um, we will need to do some tweaking on the old microphones here and there. Um, I know there's a bit of wing, wind noise. So what I'm probably going to do is look for some wind socks for these mics that we've got now. Um, so that's one footnote we're taking away from today already. Um, but it'll be well worth it, guys. Um, the improvements for the channel are never going to stop. You know that we are always investing in Airliners Live. And uh, it's the VIP support that have helped to achieve that, ladies and gents. So thank you very much. But here we are, first show back 2022 in January, live from the RVP, of course. Um, the home for Airliners Live. Yep. And uh, we're excited, ladies and gents. I've got my eyes on the Facebook chat. A lot of people just wishing us a happy new year. Thank you, guys. So I uh, hope you have a fantastic 2022 to all you guys in the community. 
and also uh, I hope you had an amazing New Year's Eve as well and a Christmas period uh, Mogsy no no it was purchased before that show mate Mogsy saying did you get that sound from all the donations you had on the fake beluga appearance well oh, we yeah. did <laughs> we did think it was coming we, we weren't winding everybody up but it did uh, so rumour has it that was coming to Manchester and it got diverted mid-air um, mm. because of the uh, fog that was at Chester that's what I got told anyway yeah Yes, we do have plans for other airports this year as well, Maxi Monkey. Yeah, yeah, we have got some plans in the works. Don't worry. Tap Air Portugal, Embraer just touching down there. Got a Dreamliner lining up as well. Oh yeah. Lovely. Gonna put me new gloves on for my sister for Christmas. Oh yeah. They've got a uh, like touch uh, touch on the fingers, so I yeah. can use my phone whilst nice. I'm there. There we go. Big shout out to my sister Abby, ladies and gents. And can we all get the celebration emotes in the chat, guys? Because uh, my sister got engaged on Boxing Day. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh. So uh, big congratulations to uh, Abby and Travis. Congratulations. Um, let's get them celebration emotes in the chat, please, guys. That's sweet. Yeah. John expecting it at all. She was uh, she was crying on the phone. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Dreamliner lining up as well. So this should be a nice test of the um, aircraft audio. Yeah, hopefully. definitely. I mean, listening back in the headphones, I think I'm quite happy with our audio, Andy. Sounds good. Sounds nice. And uh, Kevin, thank you very much, Kevin. Kicking the year off with a mega bong. Oh, yeah. What? Uh, with a £50 super chat what? saying, Happy New Year, Andy and Martin. Like the new sound equipment. Little donation to start 2022. Keep up the good work. Cheers, Kevin. Kevin, that's uh, that's a massive start to the year, mate. Thank you very thank much you for Kevin. that. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, dude. Wow, huge. Yeah, we like to reinvest in the channel and keep it all sounding and looking nice, as yeah. you can, you've probably seen. Nothing but the best. Whoa, look at that. And uh, Jack Britton, welcome to back for two months. Premium Economy, good morning to you, mate. Thank you very much for the VIP support. Welcome back, Jack. You both sound brilliant. Awesome. How do the planes sound, guys? That's the most important thing. I know. That's, that's, that is the most important thing. Siri Dreamliner using quite a lot of runway there. Good morning, Joe. Mally on Facebook saying picture and sound quality is 100% spot on. That is what we want, ladies and gents. And go. honestly, we that's what we aim for. <laughs> like, <laughs> we will not accept it if it's not. So, yeah. That's it does bug me, you know, when I see something and I'm like, hang on, that, that could be better, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Buzzing. Fantastic. Cheers, guys. And also not a lot of heat haze here at Manchester, so <laughs> we have that benefit. <laughs> uh, so, no, we're not real-life pilots, me and Andy, no. Nope. No, absolutely not. Martin's a bit of a sim enthusiast. Yes. So he can fly... Probably, if you give him the controls of an A320 or a 7.3, you could probably... I'd give it a good go. Give it a spin, yeah. But, uh, no, nothing nothing official. What is this? Uh, Lufthansa A320 or something? Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, so Matt's just sent us a message in the mod chat. Uh, said, you both sound crystal. And the wind isn't as bad as usual. Ten out of ten. Nice. Okay. It well, sounds great. a lot worse to us because I will be honest. On my headset, which isn't even plugged in, I can hear the wind really loud. You know, like it's just oh, okay, an good. Of like that's what I was worried yeah, about then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be right. on the All right. Excellent. I'm hyped. Uh, Mark Green with the crew seat membership for twelve months. Thank you very hey. much, Mark. No badge yet, he says. Yeah, that's um, next month. That. Lee Davies uh, with the first class membership for 23 months uh, and Lee's saying one month to go I hope my new badge is ready Lee oh my gosh you Wait, know we're always three we're always honest here on airliners live it is not ready yet <laughs> <laughs> so you have just reminded us Lee 
Lee, <laughs> do me a favour, drop me a message on Discord, because when I get back later, we have to do that. Yeah, we have it, to get that done. I mean, it makes no difference right now, because, you know, it's not there to be used anyway. And Will P, um, with the £20 Super Chat, saying, I was trying to give you £20 and 22 pence, but it wouldn't let me. Oh. Happy 22, guys. Uh, Will, appreciate you, mate. Long-term supporter of the channel. Cheers, Will. Great to see you back in the new year, uh, Will. I hope you had a great Christmas and uh, happy new year to you and your family as well, mate. Give us the 2p when you see us in person. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> More than Matt, good morning. Welcome. But, uh, yeah, ladies and gents, if you are new to the channel, a huge welcome. We're Airliners Live. We broadcast from Manchester twice a week, contrary to what some other streamers think. I know. Um, we are, yes. But, uh, yes, we are live twice a week. Um, and uh, we're live from Manchester, which is our home airport. And uh, you can find us on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Yep. So whichever platform you prefer to watch us on, um, we are live on all three, ladies and gents. Yeah. Most people tend to watch on YouTube uh, and Twitch, yeah. uh, but Facebook is an option as well. Got over 500 people watching on Facebook right now. So and good morning uh, to all you, wherever you're watching from. Thanks a lot for the feedback, Tony, saying um, voice audio is great. Uh, the background wind noise is just about perfect for the atmosphere. All right. Awesome. It's probably like they can hear it enough to know it's there, but it's not like intrusive. Yeah, because I think it'd be odd if there was no background noise at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then it'd just sound like a like a studio yeah. show, which it yeah, isn't. Me and Martin can hear the wind pretty loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put it that way, it's pretty... You know, it's Manchester Airport. It's always a fair bit of wind, and right now, actually, it's like on our faces. Yeah, it's coming from the south. So, oh, uh, these gloves were the best present. <laughs> Just being able to keep my gloves on. Look at this. Wait, oh my it's gosh. Such, everything ban, is ban like anyone you accurate. Want. Yeah. Nice. I find that um, capacitive, you know, touch gloves. They're sometimes a bit like cumbersome to use, yeah. especially typing. But they look pretty slick. They look like they've been homed in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Andy Boardman, happy new year, fellas. Good morning. Good morning to you, mate. 50 viewers on Twitch says Pimp Tam. Um, thank you very much, dude. Paul saying love the accents. Well, that's a compliment we don't usually get. <laughs> Can I just give a massive shout out, actually, while we're talking, um, waiting for some aircraft movements? I had a really good time last night watching the guys at LA Flights. Oh, yeah. Um, those guys have really stepped it up, man. Their, their uh, video is excellent, um, audio is great. Um, and the commentary as well is 10 out of 10, so uh, massive shout out to those guys. They gave me a, a nice warm welcome as well when I stopped in last night. That's cute. Um, so yeah, if you don't watch LA Flights, guys, um, head over on YouTube, search for LA Flights. Um, they're really good, really good guys, and they've got a fantastic video and, uh, and audio. Uh, it's definitely worth a check out, ladies and gents. Cheers, Darren. Just saying Happy New Year to you guys. All the best to you both. Singapore A350 pushing back. Thank you, Darren. Happy New Year, mate. Nice. Singapore 350. Yeah, it's good to see more 350s at Manchester, of course. Yeah. Singapore have been flying for a few months now to uh, Kuala Lumpur, but recently started flying a second route to um, Houston, which is a very interesting random route. I think it's, they stop at Houston and then continue on to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, and obviously we have um, Cathay Pacific sometimes flying in and out of Manchester as well. So plenty of airlines with the, the wide bodies. And we were also um, caught a little bit off guard this morning, I'll be honest, um, by the Scandinavian Retro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just managed to grab a picture of that. We were in the middle of setting some audio stuff up at the time and uh, it came in. So we'll be seeing that depart on the show today. Any 380s today? Yes, there will be. The Emirates A380 will be coming in soon and going out. We don't know when, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we we ain't hanging around a, a long yeah, time. Yeah, we're that, um, we've had a long chat about the 380 guys because obviously it's due out at ten past one. We usually wait till two, and then it usually doesn't end up going out till two um, or three. Thirty or three. <laughs> um, so. What we've decided to do is, if the A380 is late, um, we will probably look at wrapping the show up once the traffic starts to die down, guys. Yeah. Um, because what happens is, between that hour of two and three, yeah. there's very little movements at Manchester, and we're just waiting around for the 380, and we yeah. feel that the show goes a bit stale. 
Um, there's not really much going on. The viewer numbers start going down. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think what we're going to be doing, guys, is if the A380 is on time, then awesome, we'll catch it. Mm -hmm. um, but if not, um, we've caught the arrival on the show at least. Um, and we just like to keep the show nice and busy. So I think that's the best thing to do, guys, rather than just letting the show go go a bit stale and, and boring while we wait for it. It's a shame because, yeah, one, one o'clock is like the perfect time for the show as well. When it used to yeah. depart on time, it was such a good time. Yeah. But after one o'clock, Manchester's traffic levels just go super quiet. And it's yeah. like... It's so what we'll do, guys, <laughs> is we'll usually aim to wrap the show up about one o'clock. Um, well, about quarter past one. We'll see if the A380 is uh, is pinging or not, and then just make a decision there and then, I think. Will you be doing a show from Leeds, Bradford Airport? <laughs> um, I don't know how busy it is there, but I'm assuming it's not as busy as, as Manchester. And as you can see, Manchester isn't even uh, near its regular levels yet, so yeah. we'll, we'll see. <laughs> That'll be a big day when that happens, man when you can just see the airport. So I think what's going to happen is it's going to go from like it is now to all of a sudden a big influx, hopefully. Yeah. So I'm hoping we uh, we see the airport nice and busy very soon anyway. Yeah, there will be something that causes that because at the moment the growth rate's quite slow. They need to really like put a lot of confidence back into travel and loosen the restrictions up a lot, which um, I've got every faith that will happen this yeah. year. So we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Steve with a £5 super chat. Thank you very much, Steve, saying Happy New Year, lads. Uh, what do you think about Jet 2 moving to Airbus aircraft in the future? Um, I, I quite like it, to be honest. I yeah. think it's... Um, it kind of... Airbus has kind of taken over a little bit recently with regards to, obviously, the um, A350s and the A220s, 21, uh, the A20neos. Um, so I think it's a it's a sensible move, um, but I think from a plane spotter's point of view, it's quite a nice move as well because it'll just add a bit of a change, won't it? Yeah. And they've uh, obviously invested in quite a lot of aircraft as well. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it personally. Yeah, same. I'm a big fan of Airbus, and the A321 Neos are really nice aircraft. Yeah. They look really good. They sound good. I don't know what engines they're going to have yet. I don't think they've said. Uh, but that'll be a, a big question on our minds. Yeah. But yeah, I, I can't wait. I think it'll be. Uh, I think it'll be good. I mean, obviously the seven fives. I don't think they're uh, quite the replacement people wanted for the seven five sevens, the A three twenty one Neos. I think people, many people would prefer. Yeah, I think seven fives. The seven five is a is a bit of an iconic aircraft, isn't it? But it's just unfortunately, it's that's the way aviation's going. It's going quieter and more economical. Yeah. And both of those things don't really result in good plane spotting. The A321 is pretty much the future of uh, narrow-body aircraft, you know, a lot of airlines adopting them, and they're getting uh, longer and longer in terms of range as well. They've got the XLR model coming out soon. Yeah. They've also got the long-range model, uh, A321neo, which actually we see here, here at Manchester sometimes with uh, Air Lingus, and that can fly transatlantic pretty comfortably. Uh, from Manchester to New York, for example, or Manchester to Boston. Um, obviously, uh, London Heathrow seeing a lot of them as well. So, uh, I think that's the future of narrow bodies, anyway. Wide bodies, different story, I guess. And uh, a massive congratulations to Alan and wife Deb. We have celebrated 39 years of marriage on Christmas Eve. Um, congratulations, guys, and a uh, very happy new year to you as well. Aww. New viewers to the show. Thank you very much, guys. Welcome to the community as well. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. Over 1,000 watching on YouTube already. Wow, that's crazy. I, I did say to Martin last night, because we've been offline for so long, I didn't expect us to get many viewers at all today, so I really appreciate you guys tuning back in. Yeah, I'm glad you haven't forgotten about us. <laughs> yeah, we only had a week off. I know. Uh, you know how, how, how YouTube is, though. You know how it is. Just jumping into the YouTube chat. Ian Hunt, a very good morning to you. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. And it was a bit of a, a slow finish to last year as well, because we had to cancel two shows in a row. So we had, like, um, the first one, which... Um, we ended up cancelling just because of uh, complications and then we 
obviously were planning to do the Sunday show anyway, and then we had to cancel that because of the the weather. <laughs> so yeah, the fog was horrendous that yeah, day, wasn't it? That that video clip is still on on our YouTube. You can go and find that. It's basically a video titled uh, "Update: It's Foggy at Manchester." Yeah, and it's a little vlog that we did live where you can see <laughs> just how foggy it was. And I'm telling you, here at the RVP, you wouldn't even be able to see the taxiway. Uh, no. Bravo, one. Well, um, Debbie from the Aviation Society sent me a picture, actually, of the 380. Um, yeah. And you know how big that thing is, guys. You could hardly see it from yeah, the yeah, hut yeah. to the taxiway. Yeah. Um, that, that taxiway right there. Yeah, you, you could see hardly it. see it. <laughs> so... It was funny. It was a funny experience. I wish there was a way I could have streamed it in an entertaining manner because it was, you know, good scenes, but you couldn't see anything. It would have just been a white screen. I might as well just broadcasted yeah, just just yeah. a blank screen and said, there you go. That's <laughs> yeah, we're live, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but um, Plain Mania said that you start this year streaming as a full-time job. Did you start now or in the middle of the year? So we started full-time in November. Yeah. Um well, like so the end of November was, wasn't it? Yeah, end of November. So yeah, we uh we've been live a, about a month uh said live a month. Full time for about a month now. Yeah. Um but yeah, twenty twenty two is kinda like the the start date for the channel. Yeah, it's uh, got a lot of plans this year. Like I said, lots of different airports, lots of ideas for content as well. Um really excited. Really, really hyped. TK on Twitch, good morning to you mate, tuning in from the US. Zero G, happy new year to you as well mate. NW, Euro Flight says hello from the south side. You oh, over yeah. there are you today? Bit muddy isn't it? It is really muddy on, on the ground today. Me and Mrs Airliners Live took a little trip a couple of days ago over to south side and yeah it was, uh, it was pretty, pretty muddy. Vision thing, very good morning to you, mate. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year all. Hope you had a, a great New Year's, wherever you were. John Neal, tuning in from Brisbane, Australia as well. Welcome to you. Singapore, we can see uh, just about to uh, come into view on the side of the Premier Terminal. Here we go. A350-900. One of the channel favourite aircrafts. Watch the camera again. It's all good. Battery powered planes, guys. What do you mean, Andy? <laughs> We've got like a flying Tesla somewhere. Kitchen cupboard cooking says, uh, well, Good morning to you both and a happy new year. Good morning to you, baked beans, as well. Nice to see you. Oh yeah, looking good. That's looking fresh. I should have took a picture of that. <laughs> I'm stupid. Looks beautiful, the Singapore 350. Oh, Jet 275 on the way out. Now that's how we test the sound, ladies and gents. Oh yeah, that'll sound good. Uh, and Neil saying, uh, morning from my hospital bed. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Neil. I hope you feel better soon, mate. Oh, I've got the thing in the bag. Oh, the... Ah, I don't right. really know where it'd go. Oh, no. It's all right. I reckon we get another thing. Yeah. There it is. 7.5, just behind. Yeah. So the Singapore 350 is flight 52. That's on its way to Houston. So that is the new route. Uh, and yeah, that is followed by a Jet 2 7.5.7. Plutonium on uh, Twitch saying that uh, gold stripe on the Singapore looks awesome. Yeah, in the sun when it just caught it then. It yep. did look great. And the Jet 275 is off to Tenerife South Airport. Welcome, Robert. Totally not jealous of the people on board that aircraft. <laughs> and that's followed by, it looks like a Lufthansa. Um, let's see where it's off to. Uh, that's an A319, that's off to Munich. Euroflight saying you missed a go around this morning, did we? Oh, okay. Interesting. Which aircraft was that, mate? 
Stephen saying uh, you're the best double act since Morecambe and Wise. All the best for this year. I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't give ourselves that much credit, but thank you very much, Steve. What was that old TV show, Laurel and Hardy? Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, was, yeah. that was actually really good. I enjoyed watching that. You know what? I've got Jen got me these DVDs right, right. last year, and I've still not watched them yet. <laughs> Is who remembers the show? Um, open all hours. And it's got, um, what's the guy who plays Rodney? Uh, not Rodney, Delboy. Um, oh, I'm not sure. He's I'm in it, quite young, and he plays like um, a shop assistant. Right. And he's got a guy above him who's a uh, who's the manager, the owner of the shop. Right. And it's 10 out of 10. Right. It's, Pro- it's like proper classic comedy, man. It's not, not like the modern stuff. I've got some good news as well. We've also got two more aircraft pinging on the ground here. <laughs> Two oh, more right. microphone tests. We got another Jet 2757. This one off to Fuerteventura. Thank and Jason, that's it, yeah. We got a Tui 76. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Off to wherever that name is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Open all hours. Yeah, Ronnie Bark and Dave. Yeah. You guys know it. You guys know it. Granville, <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, tattoo man, awesome dude. Thank you very much for the raid of thirty nine, mate. A happy New Year to you. Thank Yo. you very much. Tattoo man. I don't think tattoo man. This but is the first time I've seen tattoo man offline in all this time. Oh, I've been meaning to get a tattoo over. I was meant to get one over Christmas. Oh break. yeah, you said you were getting one, didn't I you? I know, but the the place I was going to use, the guy ended up being too fully booked to, oh, okay. to book me, and he said he might have availability, and I kind of waited, and yeah, never happened in the end. Oh, it's filmed uh, near you in Doncaster, Jake. Right? Okay. Welcome, Raiders, as well. The first aircraft out will be the uh, Jet Two Seven Five Seven. Yep. That's already rolling, it looks like. Yeah, Tattoo Man says, I need to restart my system. <laughs> yeah. I think you just go offline, give it a restart, and back online. <laughs> <laughs> Seven five. Let us know, guys, yay or nay on this, if it sounds good. Yeah. Ian saying it's his first day back at work after two weeks off. Oh my gosh, don't think I could do that. Oh, <laughs> people hyped about I, the chat. I was getting a, a bit fed up with a week off. <laughs> Wow, does it sound really good, guys? I can't wait to uh, I can't wait to get home and have a listen. Yeah, yeah, same. See Great if because um, I think personally, out of the, definitely the UK streamers, we've got the best visuals. Um, but I want to now have the best audio as well. <laughs> I want all seven the things. six on the way out. This will sound now really this good. It's going to be a screamer, ladies I think, and gents. In my opinion, the seven six is probably, in my opinion, of course, the best sound you'll get at Manchester <laughs> these days. <laughs> See what my dad's put in the chat. What's that? Andy's getting the airliner's live logo tattooed on his backside. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Gosh. I don't have any tattoos, so this would have been a first for me. I've, I've, I've always been under the uh, impression that I only want a tattoo if it's actually going to be meaningful. I don't want to just get, like, you know, Benadorm 2019 tattooed on me or whatever. Andy was here. Yeah. I can even type in these gloves. Lanzarote 2020. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it was a... Uh, I've got I've got a plan of what's gonna. I've seen it. It does look quite smart. Yeah, what do you think it's, it's uh, I've hyped. 
Let's have a look back through the chat. Sounds good, looks good, <laughs> and does you good. <laughs> it does. Yeah. What's the reg on the 7.5? Uh, I'm not sure, Steve. I'll have a look in a moment. Andrew's saying, aircraft sound is a tad low for me. Does anyone agree? Does the um, does the sound on the aircraft need going up a little bit, guys? Yeah, let us know. Bearing in mind that will also raise like the ambient noise as well, though. Jet 2757 in the, the deck.com. Get my words out. Livery there. What's the difference on the sound? Did something get changed? Yes, uh, we made a massive investment in... Um, it's basically a sort of film quality preamp, um, microphone preamps, and there's a set of four basically. Um, and it's all it's digital as well, so it's got a, it's analog preamps, but it's digital, so we can mix all the sounds together and output um, direct into the camera like a, a stereo mix. Now I'm um, a big fan of these the Iceland Air 757s, but uh, this one's a little bit plain, shall we say. Yeah, Stone, that's the problem. The microphone's on top of the camera, dude, so if we turn that up, the sound of the people at the RVP is also going to go up, mate. I mean, there's something quite nice about an all-white 757. I quite like it. Yeah. It's clean. <laughs> X U N airframe, Max Lane in the truck. Will you get a night camera like LA flights? No, we've got no plans for that at the moment, uh, Robert. <laughs> Bit of night vision. Up a tad. All right, we'll put it up a tad. There we go. Right, it's up a bit. But let us know if it sort of drowns out our voices, guys. We want to make sure it's still balanced up nice. Yeah. That's a very nice the Iceland Air 757. <laughs> that's, that's the one. Yeah. That's a beautiful sound. The next aircraft's rolling. I think it's a Lufthansa. Or is it? Let's have a look. No, it's a Singapore 350. That's better, people saying. Okay. All right, guys. And then we know about the wind as well. We, we'll we'll try and fix the wind for next week. Yeah. Wind That's our heads. We can't. Microphones, I'm afraid. We can't get rid of <laughs> here in Manchester. There you go, off on the short flight down to Houston. Actually climbing pretty steep. Um, how do you decide which of the two areas to shoot from each live stream? Do you get approval in advance? Um, I assume you mean here and at the airport pub, Jeffin, is, is what I'm assuming you mean by that. Yep. Um, most of the time we're at the RBP. Um, these guys have put a lot of uh, time into us and given us a lot of access, so the home for the channel is definitely the RVP. The airport pub's more of a sort of special visit once a month, yep. uh, something like that. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're usually based here at the RVP, but there's plenty of things to come uh, this year as well, guys. Um, yeah which we can't tell you about just yet, but there's uh, a lot of discussions happening, which we're, we're very excited for. Yeah, and I also want to get back to Southside every now and then as well, because looking back at the stream highlights from last year, especially when they're on 05s, Southside isn't bad at all uh, when they're on runway one, yeah. uh, zero 05 left. So um, it was a, a nice change of perspective, really, to see the airfield from the other side. So uh, I might try and get down every now and then on Southside, uh, when they're on zero fives, and of course when the second runway opens, um, yeah. I'm going to be down there every week filming some 4K footage and getting some pictures, guys. Uh, if you do want to keep up with the pictures that we take on the channel, just search for Airliners Live on Instagram. Uh, that's where we post all of our pictures. I'll be honest, I've had a little bit of a Christmas break. I will get back onto the daily posts 
uh, from Monday. I think I've been doing one sort of every two days or something like that. But uh, yeah, pictures are all on Instagram. Yep, search airliners live on Instagram. Give us a follow. And yeah, I do want to start uploading the, uh, updating the stories on there a little bit more as well. Yeah, and YouTube highlights as well. Um, they will be uh, making a return. Yep. So loads to come, guys. And don't forget, all of our YouTube highlights are in 4K as well. Yeah. We don't broadcast in 4K, but we are recording locally for you. EasyJet A320neo, looking fantastic with the head-on shot. And showing uh, off that big left hand on the ball engines. as well. Wow, it's up already, the lofty. Really, uh, really high. That is. Struggling with the old drive on there. I know. Kenneth Williams, welcome to Premium Economy, mate. Bing bong. Oh, cheers, Kenneth. And um, I saw another message. Andrew asking, how do I become a member? Uh, to become a member of the channel, you click the dollar symbol uh, and then click join. Um, or one of the VIPs or the mods will post the join link in the chat for you, mate. So, uh, I think we've still got the 2E76 as well as the Jet 275 lined up down there at the start of 2-3 right, which is the runway they are using today. Over 2,000 watching on, on YouTube right now. Awesome. It's crazy. Lewis okay. Gareth, good morning to you, welcome. Uh, Terry, good morning lads. Uh, we don't give specifics on equipment, Terry, I'm afraid. Um, but we are a Sony channel, so all of our equipment is Sony. Yeah, um, so now you know it inside and out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, there's a bit of a hold up on the start of the runway there. Maybe there's an aircraft on approach. There is, yeah, quite a small one and it looks like a biz jet of some oh, sort. Oh yeah, that's tiny. Never have a quick look, see what's going on. You guys probably seen it on the stream before me as well. The aircraft just waiting for this uh, executive jet to... Oh, it's an Eclipse 500. Um, Channel Island Jet Services. Nice. Uh, it's inbound from Gloucester. Nice. Quite a nice little aircraft. We'll grab a picture of this one if uh, it gets off in front of us. Very busy at the RVP today. Yeah. Tell you what, the roads were really empty this morning when yeah. I was driving. And the in. sun was super low as well, so <laughs> driving you just couldn't see. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same. Did struggle to see where I was going. We have got the 7 6 holding short, ladies and gents, so that will be the next rocket out of Manchester. Nice. Well, welcome to the stream. You're watching Airliners Live. Thanks for choosing our channel this morning. Yeah. Like I did say, like me and Martin had a little meeting last night, and uh, I was saying, I was like, I don't think we're going to get many viewers today because we've been offline for so long. I know it's only been just over a week, yeah. but um, you know how things are, people, especially when it comes to the algorithm and stuff. It kind of is a bit harsh on you if you don't stream uh, just once. But uh, over 2,000 people watching, I mean, <laughs> who can complain at that, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kevin Callahan with the 10 euro super chat. Thank you very much, Kevin. Oh, appreciate thank you, that. Let's get some bing bongs in the chat for Kevin supporting the channel. Slowed down nice and quick the executive jet, but obviously just gotta make the uh, the next available taxiway. Tiny aircraft, uh, grab a little picture of this. Yeah, guy. I've not seen this before. Nice little livery on that as well. Reminds you of something you'd see at hard. I don't think I'd fit in that. <laughs> Not seven, after uh, seven, six rolling. After Christmas break. Okay, yeah, we have a seven six rolling now, so a bit of a bigger aircraft. Have a listen to this, ladies and gents. Oh yes. 
This is what we want to see. Morgan B, you're welcome to business class membership. Thank you very much, Morgan. Really appreciate the support, mate. Thank you, Morgan. Appreciate it. Welcome to business class. You do get a bunch of benefits when you sign up to the likes of business class. Obviously, when you press the dollar symbol and then press join, it'll tell you all of their benefits. Um, so have a read of them before you sign up and see what, what suits you. And Landico with the five pound super chat saying, uh, brilliant as usual, guys. Thanks. Thank you very much, Landico. Cheers, Landico. Sorry we uh, missed you, super chat, mate. Apologize. Thank you very much for the support. Mrs. Airline is live, smashing it in the mod roll this morning. Oh, Here's here we a go. Scandi Look at this, ladies and gents. This is something we did not expect today. And I've not seen this before. A Scandinavian retro. Beautiful. Nice. I've never even seen that before, so. How's that coming up? Oh, yes. Oh, we'll have a bit of that, son. Oh, yes. Looking smart. What's got our first Ryanair of the year as well? Although I think we've seen one depart actually earlier on. So maybe that accolade is uh, not deserving. <laughs> but just behind the Ryanair, the Jet 275 is now rolling in the dot com colour scheme silver and red. Eclipse of the sun from the 757. Plunged at the runway visitor park into darkness for a moment. <laughs> Paul D, welcome back. Five months of first class membership. Uh, saying good morning. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate you, mate. Nice. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm a fan of the retros as well, Paul Smith. Same, same, same. Some really nice retro liveries out there. Bit of a shame about the British Airways retro A319. Oh, yeah. they, yeah. had, they actually retired that a couple of months ago. But we did see it a couple of times on the stream. I was a big fan of that one. And Phil Toby saying a happy new year to all of the airliners team. Uh, have a good day. Keep safe for 2022. Thank you very much, Phil. Really appreciate you, mate. Thank you. I'm very positive going into 2022. Last night, like I said, we had that meeting and we were both just there like, I just want to get to the airport now. Like this was we're like 10 o'clock at night. We were like, come on, I just want to be there now. Yeah. I just want to get get going, you know? Yeah, we were looking forward to today. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, getting a bit bored out of my brain, to be honest, <laughs> having a week off. Yeah, I needed it. Oh my gosh, I really needed it. Well, I was saying this morning, um, I set my alarm for eight o'clock. Yeah. And it was a struggle, guys. I've not been up before <laughs> half nine, ten most days the whole way through Christmas. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the eight o'clock uh, didn't quite feel real this morning. <laughs> but uh, it's was, all uh, good. I was all right. I was uh, straight up. Robbie, welcome to Premium Economy, mate. Thank you very much for the VIP support. Welcome, Rob. Rob. I was here earlier than Martin for once. That's crazy. He was. That's unheard of. Usually he's on time or early, and I'm usually a couple of minutes late. You know? And Gary Munro, thank you very much for the £5 super chat. Really appreciate that, Gary. Thank you. Cheers, uh, Gary. I'm not sure, Jeffin. I'll have a look, mate. Another super chat as well. Nathan with a £5. Thank you, Nathan. Cheers, Nathan. 
Thank you so much for the support. It's, that's that's huge. I thought you'd all be completely out of pocket after the uh, <laughs> after the uh, Christmas break, but thank you so much, everyone. It's massively appreciated. Uh, nothing wrong with the store on my phone. If you head to shop.airlinerslive.com, yep, um, it's all working for me, mate. A KLM seven three. And Tom, thank you. Welcome back for seven months of business class. Uh, happy New Year, guys. Stream looking and sounding awesome. That's what we like to hear, mate. Oh, I'm so happy with, with people's response. Landico saying uh, your enthusiasm will get you to the top, lads. Thank oh. you, mate. That's nice. I like that. Well, it's, it's, it's you guys, the community, who get us to the top. But <laughs> you guys seem to enjoy what we're doing. So, yeah, let's keep going. Jen, if you just go to shop.airlinerslive.com and just check that one for me. EasyJet A320, about to touch down. Lindsay Marshall, hello, welcome, happy new year to you. Have you picked a new year's resolution yet, man? No, I, it's not something I'm, I'm alright, boring. Get when I'm <laughs> stuck. I don't really think about that sort of stuff. Uh, got any, any, even just very small things that you want to change? Um, flight stream streams. The, I, want, uh, I want to bring the flight stream streams back. Put the toilet seat down after you used it or whatever. You know, no, I'm quite good at that. <laughs> and you know why I'm quite good at that? Because I'm too lazy to stand up, so I just sit down most <laughs> of the time anyway. Have a bit of moments. <laughs> <laughs> Super Daz, good morning to you. Don't forget to check them Twitch brands if you're watching on Twitch, guys. Support the channel if you can. Take some of that rocket money off Bezos. Oh, yeah. Scandinavian Retro lining up. Uh, next to go. And uh, that's on its way to Oslo. I'm enjoying the show today. Yeah. And a massive go. shout out to all the EasyJet pilots on the Christmas show as well. I watched that back over the break and they were really getting into the spirit, yeah, yeah, giving yeah. us a wave and enjoying us dressed up like idiots as Santa. <laughs> tell you what, I see this aircraft so often, this particular one. I see it at Lanzarote, we see it on the... Um, Amsterdam show. Yeah. We see it in Manchester all the time. Shop's working for my dad as well. Okay, I'll, I'll double check it when I get home. It may, maybe the redirect that's messing a few people up. Um, and Carla Black, welcome back for eight months of uh, business class support. Thank you. So, happy new year, guys. Fantastic show, as always. Wishing you a great 2022. We love your stream. Thank Retro. you very much, uh, Carla. Cheers, Carla. Appreciate it. Flashy, thank you very much for the 179 super chat saying hi. By the way, I watch all of your live streams. Thank you very much, mate. Oh, thank you. Glad to see you in the community. Matt going in with a ping emote saying to we Dreamliner on the push for Bridgetown. Nice. XL tuning in, uh, watching from Bahrain. Welcome, mate. Nice. Uh, Kieran Jones saying, hey lads, first time watching today and absolutely love it. Uh, get yourself to Newcastle to see all the football players arrive. Hey, K cheers Kieran. Welcome to the community, mate. Hey, we see plenty of uh, football charters here at Manchester, to be fair. We do. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, Kieran, so you get uh, notified, mate. Um, we go live on Fridays and Sundays at 10.30am. Uh, so that's when you can expect to see airliners live. Um, and we are bringing back the flight sim streams as well. Um, and a good friend of ours is actually returning to streaming uh, this evening at 7pm, guys. The face of Flight Sim, Mr. John Fezzer. Oh, yeah. We'll be back live on Twitch TV at 7pm this evening. Make sure you all tune in to him. Just search for John Fezzer on Twitch. I did see he uh, put out an update post about it but I didn't actually read it so yeah he's uh, he's just <laughs> saying he's gonna be basically posting his schedule every Monday 
basing around his work and he will be trying to return back to uh, a more reg regular stream schedule, which is good. New Year's resolution, eh? Emirates 380 is now 15 minutes out. Cheers, Matty boy. I mean, I still have my gym membership, but I feel like this month... Have you not been, have you? No, because it's not opened. It's, it's, it's oh, it's not open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. that gym's not been open one day between <laughs> then and Christmas. It was closed for two weeks to be oh, refurbished. Right. That's my excuse. Okay. I have Was it refurbished now? I, I assume so. So you're going to go on the way home? I mean, I could stop in. <laughs> stop in and just check. <laughs> just see if they've got any Mars bars left. Just, uh, just poke me, I didn't go, is it refurbished yet? I'd be like, yeah, yeah, uh, I'll come back another I'll time. I'll come back next week then. Uh, yeah. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> January's not a good time to go to the gym. I know that for a fact. Well, me and Mrs. Airliners Live were sat there wondering why there was a load of... Um, well, I was wondering, Gen U. I'll tell you on that. Yeah, so we were sat there watching TV last night and um, there was a load of vegan adverts literally on repeat in what's between that? the films. What? And me and Jen were like, what's going on? It's the same advert playing every time here. And uh, Jen goes, yeah, it's, it's veganuary, isn't it? <laughs> And I'm not lying, guys. We were sat there with a ribeye steak and chips. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I just said to Jay, I'm not doing it, first uh, of all. I'm not doing it. And if I was, I've already failed, so I might as well give up yeah, straight exactly. away. Yeah, yeah. Failed before we started. I have a lot of respect for vegans, don't get me wrong, because that is some feat that you're pulling off, but yeah, not something not for I me. can do. Definitely not for <laughs> not, me. Not at all. I got bacon sandwiches for when I get in. Yeah. And like I say, we had... Nice ribeye steak last night. Plenty of people jetting off to the Canary Islands this morning. Yep. Another one. And as standard with the Jet 273 is a long, shallow climb out for those. Yeah. Yeah, first of Jan tucking into a state. We know what it's all about, Mrs. Ellen. Like. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, quite a challenge to cut meat out of your diet, I think. Yeah. I know vegans go the step further, don't they, and cut, like, milk and all sorts out, but yeah. that's uh, certainly not something I could even think about. Mark Bowling, welcome to First Class Membership, mate. Thank you very much, Mark. Wow, Appreciate first that. class. Thank you, dude. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. My love for steak. Uh, do you guys use live ATC? Uh, we don't because in the UK, Ofcom regulate the broadcast of ATC, unfortunately. Uh, we're not allowed to do it on live shows. No. We would love to, but um, yeah, it, we're, we're not allowed to do it, mate, I'm afraid. Indeed. <coughs> it certainly is, Anon. Welcome, mate. Happy New Year from Ohio. Welcome to you, Bob. Thanks for tuning in, dude. And Kath saying hi, everyone. Hello, Kath. Morning. Welcome to Airliners Live. Hope you're having a great uh, Sunday morning. Is it still morning? I think it is. I think so. Phil uh, tuning in from Belarus as well. Welcome to you, Phil. Pleasure Beach is about to fly over Manchester in the Sim. An awesome dude. Oh, you have a good flight. Give us a wave. Blair Hinton. <laughs> Here's a Dreamliner on the taxi, yeah? Ooh, that's a weird looking Dreamliner right there. <laughs> what was that? Oh, right. <laughs> that's a weird looking Dreamliner right there. <laughs> Could 2022 be the year when the Premier BMW moves? <laughs> Quite possibly. So, this is a Jet 275. On its way to Gra um, Lanzarote. Lanzarote. Followed uh, by a Dreamliner on its way to Bridgetown. Nice. And there seems to be another Dreamliner on the old uh, thing on the way to Montego Bay. Nice. And the Turkish. So a few movements, guys. We're uh, 
keeping it nice and busy this morning here on the channel. This is the sort of feel we like for the channel. Yeah. Things are moving nice and busy. Loads of people in the chat. Chris Bevan, welcome back to Premium Economy, mate. Let's get some bing bongs in the chat. For Hello, Chris. Chris. Hope you're well. Yeah, Manchester to Lonzo Rossi. Thunder Jet 275, what a flight. I'm pretty sure this is what Paul Davis did uh, the other week in that exact aircraft. Nice. Something I really want to do, actually, that, but I don't know. I think it's uh, not as cheap as the likes of Ryanair. <coughs> Morgan B saying, uh, anyways, I'm off, guys. Pleasure to be a supporter. Got work. Sorry to hear that, mate. But uh, I hope you have a great day at work, and thanks for supporting the channel. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, that's not a, that's not a bad idea, Architect. Um, we can do that. Yeah, we do have the capability to do that. What's that? Take the ATC in, not pass it through the stereo output, but record it locally ah. for the broadcast afterwards. Ah. That's not a bad shout. Are you an audio engineer? <laughs> no, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, that is possible. Um, the equipment we've got does allow us to route the audio however we like. Just um, make sure you don't accidentally start playing on stream, otherwise yeah. <laughs> you'll get in trouble. You'll get a letter through the door. Part of me does wonder, like, would that actually happen? But I don't really want to test it on my own channel. No, I don't, I don't think... Because I, I, I have seen aviation streamers stream ATC and not have any problems. Yeah. But... Another problem is, obviously, I don't want to mess with it anyway, but obviously when you got, like, thousands of people watching at once. Yeah, I think it's more of a, a, a brand decision rather than a thing that we think is going to actually be enforced. It's probably just not a good idea to be not following the rules knowingly, do you know what I mean? Flying architect. I'm not an audio engineer, but I'm a DNS specialist. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Same thing, right? <laughs> and an airliner's live YouTube moderator, by the way. There you go. Hold tight. That's the real flex. <laughs> <laughs> Get it on your CV, line one. <laughs> yeah. Get it on your LinkedIn. Jet 275 now rolling. Here we go. Enjoy this. Yeah, no flying architect. That's the thing, mate, is it most likely would never be enforced and 99% of people in the channel would enjoy it as an addition to the stream, but there will be the 1% who will kick off for the sake of kicking off about it. Yep. And they will probably report the channel, so... Exactly. As per usual, the minority spoil it for the many, unfortunately. And it's something that's like in most countries is perfectly fine to do so yeah. because it's not it's not really any harm to it I know there's like an element of a uh, privacy to radio communications well let's be honest every spotter in the country probably has a scanner and it's I know it's, it's not like it's impossible to buy a scanner and listen yourself you know you can just come on down within range of the airport switch a scanner on and then you can listen yourself yeah Walking UK, welcome back. Uh, welcome to the stream, new viewer. Uh, yes, this is the Runway Visitor Park, mate. So if you just type that into Google in Manchester, the Runway Visitor Park is where we are. Peter saying, uh, watching from Dubai, uh, like to see our A380. Our UK headquarters is just across you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, um, it's a uh, couple of planes out, I think, a 380, so not long to wait now. Tui now rolling. Tui Dreamliner. Uh, weather's overcast at the moment. Yeah, it was nice and clear before. Which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's another one, Tom. That idiot. Yeah, I remember him. Aircraft have been named in the name of the 
There's an aircraft about to touch down. It certainly feels a lot colder now that it's uh, the sun's gone behind. Yeah, it does. The clouds. It? Aircraft just touching down is uh, inbound from Dublin. Uh, Ryanair seven three seven eight hundred. I bet that's a cheap a cheap flight. Time to grab a beer before the 380 arrives. It's only six minutes past 11 in the morning. <laughs> there was a lot of people in the VIP lounge who, when I asked what the New Year's resolutions were, said uh, to drink more. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly concerning, but whatever. Whatever you want. Nice, David. Ryanair for the short hop is using quite a lot of runway to slow down. Do you wanna, my uh, my missus and it's not really rare on the way in. It's absolutely packed here. <laughs> it is busy here, isn't it? Any idea when the Manchester to LAX route will be open? Uh, no idea. They're a bit all over the place when it comes to the US routes here at Manchester. Maybe the 380 is due in soon, maybe that's what's going on. I'm assuming so. Almost got 3,000 people watching on YouTube. And yes, oh, Henry, yeah. thank you very much for the 179 super chat. Okay, I can Happy see. Happy New Year, saying uh, great 2022. Thank you, dude. Spin the camera around, guys. 380 on the uh, approach. Yeah, this is why it's getting so busy. King of the Skies is about to arrive here at Manchester. Lovely smell of jet fuel there. Yeah, I was thinking that. A little sniff. Forty cans to clear before I start dry January. <laughs> you could just save them till February. Just the right amount of spray on the runway there, I think. Uh, water on the runway there to give that nice spray action on the reverses. Over 3,000 viewers watching on YouTube. A massive welcome to you guys. Welcome, everybody. Make sure you hit the like button as well. It's a nice, easy, free way to support the channel. We're going to get an amazing shot of the 380. Uh, vacate the runway now and then it's going to taxi right past us. 
as close as it gets really. And then hopefully we will see the A380 depart again after here at Manchester. Of course uh, we have mentioned it a few times that uh, it usually runs a little bit late going back out so sometimes we do miss it on the show because uh, sometimes it's a few hours late we're talking but one would assume it's because of the restrictions and things at the moment that the aircraft uh, takes a little bit longer to turn around keeping an eye on the Dreamliner that's lining up as well the flying forehead can I have four heads in the chat? Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. XL, Happy New Year to you and the family, mate. Nice to see you back, dude. Yep. Happy New Year, dude. I'm sure I'll catch up with you soon. And here he comes, the king of the sky on its return. And the first time we've seen it here in 2022 as well on Airliners Live. Robert Johns, welcome back for four months of business class membership. Wishing you all a healthy and positive 2022. Thank you, Robert. Uh, Alex, we tend to base our streams around traffic rather than times of the day. So if it turns out that earlier streams in the morning are better for traffic movements, then certainly we'll we'll do them but at the moment we find that our current slot is uh, the busiest period for Manchester at the moment yeah it's good for viewers as well right to a Dreamliner on the roll as the 380 taxis towards us Here comes the Emirates A380. <laughs> the view that doesn't get old. Virgin Atlantic A330 on the taxi out. Whoa. What a show this morning, guys. Certainly missed this. No worries, architects. Um, have a good flight, mate. Gonna take a quick flight over to the East Coast before the weather comes in. Great to have you back live. Have a good rest of your stream. Thank you, dude. Amazing, get some photos and videos in the VIP lounge. What a huge aircraft the Airbus A380 is. Very welcome sight here at Manchester. People travel from far and wide to come and view it this awesome spot as Martin said we have a Virgin 330 on the taxi hour as well and the Turkish 21 is on the taxi nice. hour as well. so that's going to taxi to its stand which is pretty much almost there now it's just behind this white building to the left it'll just uh, park up uh, on uh, gate 12 here at Manchester and then that will uh, be there for about two hours maybe uh, and usually goes out at about 
well, it's supposed to go out just after one o'clock in the afternoon. Whether that will happen is <laughs> a different story. And the wing fences on the A380, which are the uh, right on the end of the wing, right, the arrow shaped, yep. are 2.4 meters. Are they? <laughs> now what? that bends your head, doesn't it? That does bend your head because it doesn't look like that when it's in front of you. But yeah, apparently they are 2.4 meters. The fuel meters. capacity is what blows my mind of that aircraft. Yeah, it's over 300,000 liters of fuel can be so I think it's 314,000 roughly that was 317 yeah, like you think how much it. liquid that is <laughs> <laughs> like visualise it how much a litre is it is insane uh, Disney Dave saying happy new year to you guys looking forward to this year's aviation content we are as well oh. Dave thank you mate thank you appreciate it happy new year to everyone in the chat I see a lot of messages <laughs> wishing us First dad joke of the year, coming in from Logan11. Oh no. What did the Airbus say to the Boeing? I don't know. Am I a yoke to you? <laughs> <laughs> right, I get it. <laughs> no, you're a side stick. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, looking forward to the Qatar 380s. Well, that'll be that'll be a good addition for the channel because yeah. if the A380s late, chances are we'll probably get one of the other departing. <laughs> so that's really good. I think that'll be excellent. Looking yeah, I don't know. I don't know what gate they're going to put it on. I don't think they've got another gate that can house a 380. Is the problem? Yeah, I need to speak to Debbie or Peter about that one. Just asking what the plan is for that. Yeah. Liz was saying a couple of times Virgin used their remote stands which was apparently a bit of a nightmare because you've got all these like upper deck travellers yeah. who have then got to step off the other deck onto a bus with all the economy <laughs> travellers. Hey, so. Tony P Gamer with a five tier one gift sub. Thank you, Tony. First support coming in on Twitch for the new year. Cheers, Tony. Great to see you back, Tony. Thank you very much for the five gifty subs, mate. Let's get some bing bongs in the chat for Tony, guys. Now crank up the volume for this. We've got a Virgin 330 on the roll. Will we get some ribbons on the wings? from this 330. Usually no, it's do. not confirmed yet, 100% in the Qatar. Right. It's meant to be a march, isn't it? Yeah. If it does happen. We will see. I suppose nothing certain these days, is it? No. I remember the really long wait for uh, Air Baltic to start here at Manchester. Obviously, we don't really see them on the stream because they come in a bit later. Yeah. Air Baltic fly the uh, 220s from Riga. We've seen a couple of specials as well of theirs come in. Yeah. 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 And a Turkish Airlines A321neo just entering runway 23 right. This will be on its way back to Istanbul. Another airline we've seen plenty of here at Manchester. Not only over the years, but over the last two years, they've been pretty uh, prevalent. Especially when Turkey was on the UK's travel red list. They still flew and they, they switched to the 330s for a while. Uh, because of uh, they flew a lot of cargo to uh, Manchester from uh, Istanbul. And Bib the Builder say so never watched planes before, um, but that big Emirates one was impressive. I have subbed to learn more. Ah, welcome to the community, mate. Bib the Boulder, sorry. Um, thank you very much, dude, and welcome to the community. There is quite a bit to love about aviation. I've not seen it yet, Jake, I'll be honest. I got out of bed and got straight in the car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah, got, yeah, I yeah. got dressed first. <laughs> yeah, there's there some I'm steps not, in between not that. Stood <laughs> <in> my undies.
Nice smooth rotation there from the Turkish A321 Neo. And that is the, uh, ty the type of aircraft that Jet 2 have purchased a large number of uh, to be delivered in the next few years, the A321 Neos. And now Lingus 330s on the ping at the moment. Oh, nice. Bound for uh, Bridgetown. And a big shout out to Oakley as well. Uh, who's sat at home with COVID, unfortunately, but uh, Matthew wants to give you a massive shout out. So, you go. thank you very much, Reed, and I uh, hope you feel better soon. Yeah, it's definitely uh, making a round, isn't it? <laughs> at the moment. Bit of spray there from the Ryanair 737. If you are new to the channel, a huge welcome to you. Um, you can help us out for free by clicking the like button underneath the video. And uh, if you are enjoying what you're watching, you can subscribe for free as well. And uh, if you subscribe on YouTube, you get access to the chat. So get yourself involved in a uh, fantastic community, guys, here at Airliners Live. Cheers, Shabs. Uh, we, we'll take that on board, dude. We will uh, look into what's what's giving the wind noise. I think it's our headset microphones. Yeah, I think so. So um, we will get some windshields or some better windshields for those, mate. Yeah, Thanks for the it feedback. Is always windy here at Manchester. Yeah, I'm sure we can purchase some windshields. It's not a problem. You might just tickle your nose a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> tickle the moustache. And a Jet 2, is that the A321? I think it, it is. is. Can we get a view account check, ladies and gentlemen, on the uh, on the channels that you're watching on? Really impressed with the YouTube viewership. I know. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's like, uh, big numbers for us, I'll be honest. Like I said, uh, I wasn't expecting even a thousand people to be watching, if I'm honest. <sighs> uh, Twitch has got 147. Thank you, guys. Nice. Love it. Welcome everyone on Twitch. 3,174 on YouTube. That's crazy. Welcome all. Can we hit 3,000 likes, ladies and gents, on the stream? I know LA Flights did it last night. Oh yeah, I don't think yeah. we've ever done I that. I don't think we've ever done that, ladies and gents. If everyone in the channel now just clicks the like button, ladies and gentlemen, underneath the video, let's see how we do. Because um, yeah, LA Flights absolutely smashed it last night. 3,000 likes. Yeah, he does stream for a lot longer than us. He, usually he does, streams yeah, for like, like eight hours. Yeah, even I've seen him go live for about 12 hours before. And Scott1980, welcome to business class, mate. Thank you for the support. Welcome, Scott. Now 908. <laughs> I, don't think, I hope that's not the viewers, Kevin. That's a big drop off. I assume the, the likes, right? Yeah. King Khan says, uh, thanks for the high quality stream, and you're welcome, mate. I'm glad the uh, the investment is uh, supplying the good quality that we hoped yep. it would. And we just hit a thousand likes. Thank you, guys. Hey. That's still huge. And we're getting up on 30,000 subs on YouTube now. Oh, which yeah. Is, uh, very close, ladies and gents. About 1,500 away. Nice. I wonder if we'll hit that this month. I think we will. And uh, Anonymous is saying your channel showed up on my homepage. That's awesome. Nice. So, yeah, uh, as Max is saying, guys, if you click like, um, YouTube will share our stream more and try and get more people in here. So it really does help us out a lot. Uh, 
to you. Welcome. Tuning in from Germany. Turkish Airlines number one, he says. <laughs> Hello from South Africa. Hello to you. Does the Premier Kai ever move? Uh, yeah, I think it does. I think we just don't see it yeah. on the stream. Yeah, so. channel's booming right now. It is, mate. It is, it is. Brandon's saying it showed up on your homepage as well. Are you new as well, Brandon? If you are, mate, a massive welcome to you as well. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you've just found us on your homepages. Um, because... Uh, we do stream every Friday and Sunday, so there's plenty of content for you to watch. Yep. Along with midweek um, highlights as well. Yeah, and we're going to try, maybe, do the occasional extra show this month as well. Yeah. Where we see any entertainment to be had, that is. So Wednesday's looking like a day where we may return to Barton, ladies and gents, for a oh, Barton yeah. stream. If the weather stays the same, we will see. So yeah, that could be fun. I'd be down. But quite a lot of aircraft heading in uh, across the country at the moment. Um, so a lot of like... Uh, Thanks, Machini. Appreciate that, mate. A lot of Ryanairs and EasyJets and things. Here on the ground at Manchester, we do have... I think the Air Lingus is still pinging up over at Terminal 2. Which is now Air Lingus A330 bound for Bridgetown. That's been pushed back as well. So we'll see that soon. That's Air Lingus Flight 931. And that's Aer Lingus UK as well, which is a new subsidiary uh, that they've set up um, based here at uh, Manchester, I believe. Tony Clark tuning in from Perth, Australia. Found you on the homepage. Welcome, Tony. Welcome. Great. Awesome to have you with us, mate. I believe Australia had some pretty good uh, fireworks at their uh, New Year's Eve yeah. celebrations. Shash Mirror as well, saying he also got recommended to us. Now, I was working New Year's Eve, so I didn't see this. But am I right in thinking that they didn't have any fireworks in down there? No, they the, did. They did. So what happened with that? Because like, I see so many people so say I'm I'm kind of fifty fifty on this year's fireworks, right? Um, Daryl Clark, different? welcome to business class support, mate. Let's get some bing bongs in the chat for Daryl. Thank you very much for the support, dude. All right. Um, really appreciate that, Daryl. Um, Thank you, Daryl. So what they did this year was they had fireworks, but I think the main part of the show was the drones. They had right. a load of drones Did they? doing lighting, right, uh, I didn't know this. different patterns and things like that in the sky. And it felt like they were the main thing and the fireworks were kind of backing them up a bit. Right. But I said to Jen, it was cool for a while. Yeah. But after, say, the first few minutes, I thought, you know what, maybe they should give them a rest now and go back to the fireworks. <laughs> but they didn't. They kind of kept it as a drone. Oh, right. So it kind of fe felt like not, not as good as the... the the previous years doesn't sound as climactic like fireworks are like a big boom aren't they they're like yeah. exciting and also the volume on the fireworks was really low as well ah so you d i just didn't enjoy it as much as i did last time i think the drones are great like yeah. they made some really cool shapes and stuff out of them and they were really effective but right. i think they shouldn't be the main part of the show the fireworks should yeah. still be the spectacle because we do that, it really that's well that's what i've not done for ages is watch the, the coverage of, of like the london display at new year's eve i usually watch it back yeah um hello casey saying uh, hello lads also found you on the homepage. welcome guys Welcome. Steve Bradley, uh, likes and subscribed and join the stream on a lazy Sunday night in Adelaide, Australia. Great work. Cheers, Steve. Welcome, mate. Welcome. Yeah, we are currently waiting on the movement of a Aer Lingus 330, which has been pushed back by the, by the looks of it. And that'll be an awesome departure to catch soon. It's still morning here at Manchester Airport. It's uh, half past 11 in the morning. The clouds have rolled in, mm -hmm. so it's uh, no longer. <laughs> bit of a bitter breeze as well. I know, yeah. That well, is we're wrapped up. We're yeah. all good. Got a brew as well in the old flask room. Yeah. See, I had a good uh, New Year's Eve. Like I said, I was working for it, and I, wasn't, I didn't get home until about 3 in the morning. Uh, so yesterday was a bit of a write-off for me. Yeah, I don't think I spoke to you yesterday until about 4pm. I know, I was just lying around, just on the sofa, just completely just like enjoying my last day of, of being able to do <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I 
I think we went out and only to go to KFC. Nice. Which uh, was a bit disappointing, really. Yeah, you said that, didn't you? It just didn't. I, know, I, f- I feel like KFC has gone downhill. You know, I, I, f- I feel like it used to be a lot better. I don't know if it's sh- the KFC I go to. Maybe, maybe it is. Mm. Maybe it's a regional thing. <laughs> maybe. But uh, I just feel like it, it. You know, the food's not as warm. The it doesn't taste as good. The portion sizes are smaller. It takes longer to get served. Just everything about it is just like not as good anymore. Although I did go to uh, the other day. I did go to Five Guys. No, God, Five you could, Guys. You could spend slaps. a lot of money in there if, you, if you're not careful. <laughs> That's the one. I just said, so I'm going to treat myself here. I'm not going to bother about being budget, you know, because yeah. I'm really hungry. And I got um, a large um, double cheeseburger with ba- bacon, I think. Bacon, yeah. yeah. You know what makes it, sense. Yeah, it was what really you gotta good. Why you got to watch out for Five Guys is the chips. Right, yeah. You can get a medium chip. Yeah, exactly. And I was it'll be say. sound for the two of you. Yeah, yeah. Me and Mrs. Airlines, I've made the mistake of yeah. getting two mediums. It's worded badly. It's really not, guys. If, if you're ordering five guys, take it from an airliner's live recommendation. You don't need medium. If there's two of you, you need medium. One of them. Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that, that's worded badly, in my opinion. Why don't they call it the small one medium and then the medium large and then the large extra large? Like, yeah. Because. The small chips there is enough for one person. But when you see the word small, you're like, oh, no, I don't no, want a no, small. I'm not a small guy. I know, I, I, I'm, I'm hungry, I want a big one. So you go for a medium, and that's like a portion of chips you get at the chip shop. You know, it's like, it's yeah. huge. Jenny Watts saying, just got to the RVP. Any of you guys want a brew? I've got one, thank you, Jenny. I really appreciate that. I'm all right, Jenny. Thank uh, you. Are you all right, Brown yeah, Bill? Yeah, I'm good. We're thank okay, you. thank you, Jenny. But come up and say hello anyway. But I appreciate the offer. Thanks very much. Yeah, appreciate it. But it, it was really good. I think I probably spent about it was at least fifteen quid on a meal. Was it? It's, what? No, how, how have yeah. I done that? I don't know. Five Guys is super, super expensive. It is expensive, isn't it? I know the chips are like uh, really like uh, local and you know cut in store, and yeah. the meat's really good. Like the burger was really, really good. Like you know what is good if you want a cheaper alternative is Burger King, the bacon double XL. Oh right. That's a good one. Double XL. Bacon double XL. The double yeah. Beluga XL. That's special kind of little, Supremo. Uh, <laughs> with two wings instead of one. Yeah. It's <laughs> so a kind of rip off, rip off Five Guys video. Okay. <laughs> the burgers in Burger King can be huge, can't they? Yeah. Be careful. Be careful what you wish for. There you go. We're making everyone hungry in the chat. I'm uh, getting a bit hungry now. I should probably uh, move that's, on that's to another That's January over maybe. for everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> after hearing that one. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a Zynga guy, Louise. A zinger guy. You know about that zinger life. Hey, up, Sonny. Happy New Year, mate. Nice to see you in the chat. Zinger, K- that's KFC, isn't it? Yeah. But I actually did get a uh, the fillet tower box meal. That's what They're I got. They're good. Yeah, that was a good one. They're With good. the hash brown. Yeah, hash brown makes it, mate. <laughs> right, like I'm going to get Mrs. A- Airlines. I've got a breakfast right. from Mackey's. You always got to get a hash brown for your sandwich right. and an extra ash brown for yourself I didn't think you were a, a, a McDonald's breakfast kind of guy it's the only thing didn't from McDonald's me. that I actually like is, right. is the breakfast yeah they're actually alright I'm very rarely in McDonald's in the morning it's more of like a an afternoon thing for me you know yeah, I'm going to uh, your staff disco <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to um, change the battery real quick because we're on oh, two, okay. Stand by, guys. 2% but give me a moment what, take your headset off. Don't That's all right. I've oh, got you it. got it. Just walk off, still connected. In fact, I don't even. I'm not. Even, I don't even have to say good. Like, see you in a bit, because I can just walk and still talk. You know. There you go. Not messing about. Derek, Ooh. hello. Hope you're doing well, mate. Nice to see you back in the chat. Sounds like good. Yeah. I know. I kind of. I kind of agree, Blair, on that point. Right. What we're going to do, ladies and gents? There's a couple of movements happening here on the ground. Let's have a look at radar. Yes, the 3.30 is taxiing out. It's actually almost in view as well. Welcome, so Keith. Tuning in from Ireland. We're going to do a quick battery swap, guys. We'll be straight back with you in a second. Stand by. Yep. Oh, can you imagine? Check, check, check. It looks like it has. 
Yeah, that's cool. Save the settings, buzzing. Nice. We are back in the room, ladies and gents. That might be three thirty on the taxi outside. Oh, that was good timing. Food talk over. Michael, yes, we're at the runway visitor park in Manchester, dude. You can come down. It's a public, uh, public space. Yeah, that's another point, parking. though. Um, so obviously, people are asking, do we do we need to uh, organise being here and have permission? This particular spot where we are now, no, it's just uh, public access. You know, you can just rock up. The only charge you may have to pay is obviously for the parking. Uh, to park here at the RVP um, and then um, there's loads of things to do as well yep. it's not just uh, looking at planes, I mean there's planes here on the ground that you can come and look at as well there's five aircraft at, inside the runway visitor park, static that you can have a look at and one of them is the Concorde that you can actually uh, book tours of and, uh, and uh, get to go on board which is pretty crazy Richard's then joined the show from the Peak District in Derbyshire. Welcome, Richard. Oh, nice. So we was watching uh, this thing on YouTube, me and Brownville, last night. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was really good, guys. I'll, yeah. um, I'll, what we'll do, we'll post it in the VIP lounge because um, it was really funny, actually. Yeah. And it was these two guys who basically do a challenge where they've got to get across parts of the country but they can only go in a straight line yeah and they can only de deviate off that line by 25 meters yeah exactly yeah, otherwise yeah. they fail the challenge yeah and it's really really good it's really entertaining yeah so it's, uh, it's a bit bit mad at points but it's really good yeah so i don't think he's ever succeeded i think he did one country but the guy who, the main guy who is always on every episode he is like the the guy who's like organizing it and stuff and there's usually two of them yeah. who partake. And yeah, you've got to cross a country, an entire country, in a straight line. So uh, one of them, you know, he's done Scotland before. You do it by foot. Yeah. yeah. You camp, you know, you have to, like, overcome wildlife. And most importantly, you have to overcome man-made uh, obstacles, obstacles, like fences houses and, and fences and farmers. And, yeah. Uh, it's really good, though. Really, really entertaining. It's something I'm watching a lot of recently. He's called Geo Wizard, the guy, and um, he's got about a million subscribers. Yeah, but it's it's quite wholesome content because it's not overly produced. It's just him with a GoPro, and it's not even in sixteen by nine aspect ratio. It's in uh, four, four by three. Four by three. Yeah, so it's just raw out of a GoPro, you know. And uh, yeah, but it's it, good though because I like content like that where it's it's just organically good. It's not yeah. engineered to be good. It's yeah, not yeah. edited to be good. It's just. This is what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a narration over it, and then that's narration it. over the top, and that's it. Yeah, and it makes for a good video. Yeah, and I think if they did go further on the editing style and stuff, I think it would ruin it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. It's uh, yeah, it's quite interesting, guys. So we'll share that in the VIP lounge. Um, yeah. So walking UK saying the farmer was not happy. Yes, yeah, so you've seen yeah, the episode, yeah, yeah, mate, yeah, yeah, yeah. where the farmer was chasing, because. Honestly, like they, they do have to go across farmers' land yeah. to do this. Obviously, if they're going in a straight line, yeah. Um, which obviously we wouldn't recommend. Like it is technically trespassing, but it it does make for good content. Yeah, it's it, yeah, it's an, an interesting area of, of UK law because obviously there's different layers of law, and one of them is civil law, and trespassing is a civil matter, which means it's between you and the the landowner, which is not actually like. A, a crime basically you know if you trespass obviously there's certain land you can't like an airport for example you can't just go <laughs> walking through an airport or a prison or you know um, a yeah. railway track is another one uh, but things like farmers land and stuff there's a there's a bit of like leeway for people to cross I uh, know in Scotland legally. they've got right to roam as well yeah yeah that's yeah, another course. one and I know that it can be a bit touchy as well because we do have uh, some people that we visit in Scotland who, who do kind of see the negative sides of that. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, we're just talking from a purely content point of view here, guys. We're not necessarily yeah, yeah, yeah. advocating what the guys are doing, but it's uh, it's a good video anyway. It makes makes for a good a good watch. Yeah, so, yeah, go and have a look. I mean, he's, he's currently in the process of releasing the videos for his third and, I believe, final attempt at trying to do Wales. Yeah. He's crossing Wales. And he's a, already a been line. chased by a farmer. He's already been chased, yeah. So, I think he's on day... He's, he's, he's released two episodes and I think there's four in total so two more to go and yeah he's already been chased by a farmer he's already almost broke his ankle he's already uh, oh yeah when he hopped over that fence and twisted his ankle yeah. really bad didn't he 
Craig yeah. Naylor, welcome back uh, for first class uh, for seven months. Thank you very much, mate. Oh, wow, Craig. Thank you so much. Yeah, welcome back to first class. Yeah, it was funny because you had Walking UK, I think, watches it, and he said he didn't want to offend anyone, but the, the guy's, like, really conscious of not damaging anything or offending anyone. Yeah, yeah. And when the, when the farmer was shouting at him, he was just walking, like, I'm really sorry, mate, I'm doing the challenge. Like, please don't stop me. And, and the guy's like, no, you go this way. He's like, no, I'm, I'm really sorry. He was just walking off. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> just kept walking. <laughs> it's funny. What do you do? Like, that was such an awkward situation. It's like, do yeah. I destroy my chances of succeeding? Uh, what's the name of the channel that we are on about? Geo Wizard. Geo Wizard. So, G-E-O and a wizard. Here you go, guys. Uh, Airlingus A330 on the roll. But yes, Geo Wizard is the channel and we're is, talking about. Believe it or not, his main content is uh, GeoGuessr content. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, so that's how I found him. So, he's a GeoGuessr like pro, basically. He has like world records and stuff. I'm quite a fan of his um, Where's That Weatherspoons series. That's quite a good one. <laughs> <laughs> where he goes to random Weatherspoons and find out where they are. <laughs> we got a long wait for the Aer Lingus A330. Erlingus UK, off to Bridgetown. And uh, Kevin, thanks very much for the 10 Super Chat, mate, saying he's looking to make a visit in August. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Appreciate that a lot. Oh, you visited Manchester? Nice. I, honestly, I, if we're plane spotting, I'm sure you, you know, the stream is evidence of this, but it's fantastic. I was quite uh, delighted to, to host um, Plane Mania a couple of months ago, he visited from uh, Germany, and he loved it. He was overwhelmed. You know, the, the views you get here at Manchester are so good, whether it's at the Runway Visitor Park or the airport pub. It's it's very humbling being able to see someone's first reactions to the place, you know. Another Turkish A321 Neo. Uh, not Neo, just a standard, just a standard, yeah, standard sorry, 21. Just look at that. Just a standard uh, A321 this time. Hey, Jeffin, welcome, mate. Uh, Casey, we're at the RVP, but if you just wait till the stream's overdue, because we can't really uh, talk to people during the stream, really. It's. Uh, it's a bit awkward because we've got all the headsets on and stuff. A330 uh, on the taxi up. Another 330, what is going on? This is probably the most 330s we've seen. Yeah, whilst we're live, dude, we just like to try and focus on the stream if we can. Of course. Living in Thailand, you miss a cup of Yorkshire tea. Oh my gosh, imagine moving away from the UK and missing all them fantastic things. The thing I wouldn't be able to go without is Cadbury's chocolate. Oh, okay. I, I struggle to find that when I'm in other countries. Yeah, Jen, I thought that. A trip of 1,443 miles this Turkish has flown. There you go, the more you know. What's up, Alan Brown? Uh, Laurie M, welcome back, nice to see you. Hello, Laurie. How are you doing? Hope you are well. You can buy Cadbury's chocolate in Thailand. No way. Is it the real stuff? That's it, I'm going to Thailand. He's off. That would be my biggest anxiety about living in a different country, is all the different foods. 
not being able to get the uh, stuff that I'm used to. Yeah. If I was to like to go anywhere or potentially obviously if you're ever to look at getting a place somewhere it would be Spain for me because oh, yeah, the Spanish yeah. food is just 10 out of 10 yeah 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 Spain's a good one would you move to the Canaries or somewhere inland oh squeaky brakes on the 320s is that what service. that was <laughs> yeah I wouldn't mind living in Tenerife. Oh. Oscar's saying Cadbury's is everywhere in Australia. Is it? What? Terry tuning no in way. from Melbourne. Happy New Year to you, mate. Maybe I'm being dumb. I'm sure, like, when I go various other countries, I just can't find Cadbury's anywhere. Talking about... Like, you can usually find, like, Nestle and stuff and, like, Mars and yeah. M&Ms yeah. and stuff, you know? Because they're just, like, generic global things. What's the longest flight you've flown on? Uh, probably when I went to Boston, I would say. Oh yeah, that isn't, yeah. Andy's is uh, London Heathrow. <laughs> <laughs> From Manchester, that was, a, that was a real big flight. Awesome, Logan saying, I live in Crete. Uh, I want to live in Crete. 300 sunny days a year. Yeah, that sounds nice. It looks really nice, Crete, actually. Somewhere where I want to go. It's based on the uh, the beaches, the quality of the beaches there look really good. Cheers, Christopher. Appreciate the feedback, mate. So it's uh, a lot more interesting to know where the airlines have come from and how long the journey has been, etc. Nice. Pretty sure Cadbury's is a worldwide thing. Is it? Okay. Well, I mean, I'd, I'd assume so, but like, I just struggle to find it when I'm in other countries, especially European countries. You just can't get better than Cadbury's chocolate. I don't know. It's just maybe that's that's an opinion, but you know, like I'm not a huge fan of uh, Galaxy chocolate personally. I used to like a bit of Galaxy. It had to be in the freezer, though. Oh, yeah, it does go a bit mushy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, get it in the freezer. Yeah. But if you are new to the channel, ladies and gents, say hello in the chat. A huge welcome to everyone um, tuning in. I find Cadbury's goes rock hard when you put it in the fridge or whatever. Yeah, I like I like chocolate like that. If chocolate's at room temperature, yeah. I don't like it. Uh, okay. Yeah, it does need to be a bit cold. Uh, when do we plan on starting the flight sims again and how often? Um, we're thinking once a week, Will, and probably this week. Oh, yeah. Probably this week. Good friend of ours, Mr. John Fezzer, the face of flight sim, is returning to twitch.tv forward slash John Fezzer. He's going to be live uh, starting this evening at 7 o'clock. So if you don't have a Twitch account yet, maybe head over and set one up, guys, because uh, John's going to be returning back to uh, regular live streams as well. I'm going to be in there modding for him. He's uh, he sorted us out with a deal the other day, didn't he? He did. We uh, purchased a another GoPro off John. Woo! Got a new um, GoPro, ladies and gentlemen. So we got another GoPro on the way, which uh, is going to get used um, very soon, actually, because You've we got plans, have you? a plan, me You've and Mrs. Plans. Airliners Live, to go and film you guys some footage. Martin's going to travel the world. So we will, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we will, uh, we want to do a bit more. I think one of the things we spoke about in our meeting was that we wanted to make the channel a bit more personal feeling. So um, when we go recording 4K footage or I go taking my pictures, uh, I want to try and do a bit more vloggy style stuff as well. So not just upload the picture with sort of no story behind it. Yeah. So uh, that's one of the things we're going to use the new uh, the new GoPro. Sh um, uh, when for. I'm going to fly Emirates first class yep. in a few weeks, you know, I'll do a little vlog for you. <laughs> <That messed. laughs> Austrian Embraer just uh, arriving here at Manchester looking very nice. I actually really like that plane. It looks very smart. Fox Arts, happy new year to you, mate. 
And ladies and gents, what are you all thinking about the new audio setup on today's show? Do you think it sounds good? Do you think yeah, it sounds... let us know. How do we sound? How do the planes sound? We're open to feedback, guys, so please let us know. We have got a 3.30, which is going to be departing in a minute. Um, off to Bridgetown, I think. So that's going to be uh, another test of the audio. But uh, we've put a lot of money into the channel's audio over Christmas, guys. Uh, a huge amount, which is uh, hopefully showing the benefits on today's stream. Oh, look who's in the stream. Woke up. She don't even know what day it is. It's Katila. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, dude? You don't even care, that's just the way it is. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Quite a unicorn, I think. <laughs> unicorn, the uh, national uh, animal of Scotland, right? Right, 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 right. Other than some wind, uh, it sounds great. It sounds mint, guys. Guys, the wind is always at Manchester. How did the plane sound? That's the most important thing, guys. Listen to this 330. Plane. Hopefully it's nice and clear and plane camp. Here we go. 330, rolling. As I'm wingtip vortices looking fantastic on the 330s. Yeah, dude. Uh, yes, yeah, so John's going uh, over to Twitch full time. Will so make full an time. Make an account on Twitch. Is he quitting uh, his job? He's just leaving YouTube, I think. Oh, what a dramatic day! So yeah, just uh, make an account on Twitch.tv, guys. If you watch John's regularly, come and support him, guys. Come and uh, help him out. Mark and Mama Katila saying hi. Oh, hi guys. Hello. Shalom. Paul Cleverly saying Happy New Year, guys. Hope you all had a real Christmas. Thank you, Paul. Nice we did. To see you, mate. Like I said, we had a week off, which probably is the first week off I've had in my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do, 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 do. Cliff Gibson saying, hi guys, new to the channel, great watching. Welcome, Cliff. Great to have you with us, mate. Should that be on DMF? Uh, I mean, it, it, the autofocus is on fine, so... Maybe that's just a... Um, it is autofocusing. Maybe that's just a camera, camera thing. thing. Yeah, maybe. DMF, what? Something manual focus, digital, I don't know. Digital manual focus. Because there's probably. MF, right, isn't there? Yeah. Which is just straight up manual focus, so I don't, I don't want to be on that. Although, look, no, look, the setting on this, though, says autofocus continuous. So okay, so know. that's got to be a camera thing. Let's just not touch it. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch a thing, leave it alone. A Ryanair from Berlin. And he did invite me to play Mania. He said, if you ever want to come over to Berlin and stay over, you're more than welcome to. So I do, I do appreciate that uh, invite. I may take you up on that this year at some point. This Although, aircraft is three years old. 2018 was uh, registered. Really? That's really new, though. They do tend to have quite new aircraft right in there because, believe it or not, the, um, the investment on buying the newer aircraft actually outweighs the... Uh, the cost of the fuel, so the the newer the aircraft, they're generally more efficient. But this um, easy jet uh, on the roll now is on the way to Belfast, so a short flight, um, only 160 miles. God, that uh, is that's not anything, is aircraft. it? Jeez. It's due to land uh, in approximately an hour's time. What this this one it? Yeah. An hour. Can't take that, can it? What it says. It's about right, that. Is it? An yeah. hour's flight? Oh, I would have thought it would have been like... Oh, maybe know, 40, 45 minutes. minutes. It's like London Heathrow, uh, as long as that flight is, you know. They'll probably pick some time up, but yeah, it's, uh, it's usually about that. Manchester to London Heathrow shuttle service is just holding short down at Juliet 1, um, along with a uh, EasyJet um, AC20neo uh, just pinging up on the ground uh, for a guard. Which we'll see taxiing out very shortly. All of their movements. All of their movements. Yeah, Jan saying she used to fly to Belfast. It was about an hour. An hour? Really? Wow. All right. Laurie then. M with the $20 super chat. Thank Woo! you very much, Laurie. 
Uh, gorgeous picture and audio. Much love from Texas. 2022 is going to be epic for the best aviation channel on YouTube. Yeah, dude. Thank you, Laurie. And uh, I hear you guys have got a bit of a snowstorm going on over there at the moment. What, in Texas? Yeah. Do they have snow over there? Apparently so. Oh. Well, the more you know, eh? Welcome, Jack. Nice to see you in the chat, mate. I mean, to be fair, this, this last year's been quite enlightening of just how weather in different parts of the world is, you know? Like, like I said, when I went to Madrid, that was freezing. That was mm. really, really cold. I had my thermals on, I had my hoodie on, and I was still cold. Pegasus is uh, just touching down. It's like, I thought Madrid would be like, nice and toasty. Yeah. And a friend of mine, on the same week I went, went to Italy. And was really, really warm, you know, in shorts, t-shirt and all that. Rooftop bar, cocktails, the lot. Uh, yeah, not Neo today, just a standard 320. Steve saying, Happy New Year, guys. Love the channel. Um, sorry, my mistake, Steve. Yeah, it's on its way to Orlando, not Bridgetown. Yeah. Cheers, Steve. And uh, nice to see you, mate. Orlando. Uh, tap Embryo on the taxi out for Lisbon as well. I feel like the weathers they do get in the south of the states, especially like Florida, are pretty extreme. They got like all these like storm chaser channels, haven't you? Yeah. Including that one that you showed me. Which I was, love uh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, I love that as well. What was his Laurie name? Laurie probably knows him. I can't remember what his name is now. I know. I can't remember. There's a big storm chaser who I think he goes live on like a news oh, channel I'd while he's out in his. I would. While he's out in his, uh, his vehicle that he has. Is it Reed? Something? Reed Timmer? Timmer? Yeah, something like Reed that, Timmer, yeah. I think his name is. Laurie will probably know. Really good content, that. Yeah. Just screaming his head off in the middle of a tornado. Get in the car! He's like stood there waiting, just watching it come in, and then it gets dead close. He's like, hey, let's go! <laughs> Yeah, Reed Simmer, Brandon says. In the yeah, chat. minus seven here right now with snow, sleet, and ice. Says Laura. What? No, it's not. It is. What? Dude. Reed Timmer. He's just as big of a jerk in real life. Laurie, get some photos in the VIP lounge. I'd love to see. What, oh, dude? That's crazy. Uh, Daniel Junko tuning in, saying, "Love your video from Guam." Wow, wow. nice, dude. Welcome. Really remote area, isn't it? That? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> what minus? Eight. Oh, I've, that is crazy. That's blowing my mind, dude. Here in Manchester, it feels quite tropical in comparison. <laughs> I mean, it's been pretty warm here recently. Yesterday, it was like 15 degrees Celsius. Doesn't feel like 15. Yeah, I had to open my window last night. I did. <laughs> Although I was wearing about 50 layers, as 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 per usual. Oh, sorry about that, ladies and gents. Someone did give me a really good New Year's resolution the other day, and I forgot it. So <laughs> that just shows how much. Attention I'm giving to it. Ryan there just uh, drying the runway off a little bit more. Brandon saying all kinds of tornadoes last night in the US. What? Bananas weather all over. Oh my gosh. Moonwolf saying Picos Hank. Hello, you right. Do I want to drink? One I'm more all right. Thanks. Cheers and thank yeah. you. Thank thank nice you, to see you. Happy New Year. You all Happy right? New Year. What's that? I give him up. Yeah, send him up whenever he's ready, yeah. Awesome. I see he's got his new uh, gimbal, hasn't he? He's got a new gimbal, has he? Was it? Get him making some content. Brilliant, get him up here. <laughs> nice to see ya. See ya. <clears throat> Ryan, uh, taking it's time to vacate there. We just had Jenny Watts, one of our long-term VIPs, Huge supporter of the channel as well. Yes. Saying hello. 
morning when I was setting up before, I had about three different people saying hello to me. But sadly, I don't know everyone who watches the show because obviously it's a bit of a symbiotic thing in it. Like they know us quite well, yeah, and I don't know them, <laughs> so we'll often be walking around Manchester Airport and get clocked like, "Hey, how are you doing? You've been all right." And, like, that yeah. happened to me the other day on Southside, did it? It's a <laughs> random guy said hello and just had no idea who he was. So I try to remember faces and names, but uh, I'm naturally bad at it, so sorry. <laughs> it's the slowest Ryanair taxi I've ever seen. Usually they're just darting off, you know. Bowen tuning in from Greece over on Twitch. Thank you, mate. <clears throat> Do you know me? I don't know you. Do you know me? I recognise you from the name, though, in the chat, so, you know. Joanne Mason, thank you very much for the five pound super chat saying thanks as ever for an entertaining and interesting live stream. Thank you very much, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. Wow, appreciate that. Loads of donations today. Really, really do appreciate it. But Laurie, I need to speak to you about um, Dallas because what I want to do, my big plan this year, is, um, I don't know about a live show, but I would love to visit later in the year to specifically bring content for the channel uh, but what I'm going to do before then is visit as like a, uh, a personal holiday um, and also while I'm there scout it out a little bit and just see how it is and see if it's suitable for the channel <laughs> Peter Rhodes saying sound is great on one of the best airline channels thank you very much Peter nice. appreciate that Paul Ashwin thank you very much for the 25 super chat saying uh, thanks for reminding me of uh Mank of home each week. Have a great 2022 airliners crew and chat. Thank you very much, Paul, for the super chat. And uh, Brandon B, welcome to Premium Economy Membership. Cheers, Brandon. Welcome, dude. Well, cheers, Brandon. Appreciate it. Look at all the bing bongs in the chat. Whoa. Loads going on. Thank you, guys. Huge support for the first show back of 2022, guys. Yeah, I'm really, really, really happy with the viewers, with the, the support, the amount of likes we're getting, just everything. It's just like really good today so the amount of movements we're seeing at the airport as well it, I've really missed this I will say I've really missed it hi mate how's you going all right how's you uh, how's your phone looking good yeah, is that a new gimbal is it was it is that a new gimbal Jaden Ryan Air 737 once again just vacating 2-3 right here at Manchester uh, Katila thank you very much for the 99 pence super chat oh, no. big bongs in the chat Woo, 99 pence Kenko how's it going big man happy new year mate cheers Katila well. appreciate it still sniping on uh, <laughs> on modern warfare you found another game yet Oh, I had a guy, oh, if he's watching the stream now, Lewis, he's called, okay. and he's a, um, oh, it was such a humble thing, <clears throat> and he streams at uh, Modern Warfare, I don't know how many viewers he gets, he tells me, like, sometimes hundreds, so fair play to him, Yeah. but he was like, oh, you get loads of viewers on YouTube, don't you, you know, like, it's crazy, like, he was so, like, overwhelmed, he was asking me for advice and things, Yeah. and it's just, like, so, yeah, humble to, to talk to people who were, like, looking up. I, you know, I don't know. It's just crazy. Yeah, it is good. It is good. We have, we have achieved something pretty special, man. Like, we we are like super lucky with the amount of viewers we get. I know, dude. There's a lot of channels who would give anything to to get the sort of viewers we get. I know, and I, w I wish I could give that to other people. You know, yeah. Some, some great, some great streamers out there. Chris, thank you very much for upgrading your membership to first class, dude. Appreciate you, Chris. But yeah, we'll give give John a big push tonight on his uh, on his return to aviation live streaming. Yeah, he puts the work in, Fezza. Yeah. I just don't have. To, well, I mean, I might do now. I have time to watch streams again. I used to watch loads of like streams. For oh, mate, I love watching streams. I prefer watching streams to TV. To yeah, be same. I do as well. Uh, so look, Stuart, welcome tuning in from Macclesfield. Nice to see you, Stuart. Uh, Daniel, happy new year to you and pilot Alik as well, happy new year. Even like just 
people like stream on like I mean I watch them on all platforms these days I used to just watch loads of Twitch loads of it you know like anything you can imagine over there um, but recently I watch a lot on YouTube I watch a lot of um, airline videos I watch him a lot you know yeah. Kevin over there yeah Kevin does a great job um, I watched quite a bit of Marowan as well I'm a big fan of him over at From Brussels to the Sky yeah uh, actually Katila's in the chat I watch a lot of her streams she does streams over on Instagram completely oh, right. okay. different style yeah a lot of like positivity uh, talks and stuff she's a really good really good speaker she's like really good at it um, she's over on Instagram settle an argument me and my missus have while watching your channel Ryanair livery Ryanair livery she says blue I say purple purple? purple are you seeing purple? I think you're making the brew sunshine it's definitely blue sorry about that it's like navy blue it's like UK passport blue right? Like, yeah it's, it's <laughs> definitely blue I don't think there's any shadow of a doubt on that one sunshine yeah I'm sorry she <laughs> might be taking you to the opticians mate I think <laughs> But the UK passport is definitely not very blue, but it is blue. Da -ba -dee, da -ba -dee. I had a, I had a poll on my Instagram saying, "Is this blue or not blue?" That's a question. <laughs> yeah, blue passport. That's the one. B L W. -O. Uh, if you're wondering how to get to the RVP, <laughs> just search for the runway visitor park in Google, guys, and it'll uh, give you directions straight to us. Atuji, welcome for the tier one membership for six months in advance. Thank you very much, dude. On buying, Twitch, was that? Yeah, buying nice. six months of membership over on Twitch. Okay, I'm colorblind then. I love how we've just accidentally diagnosed that you're colorblind on the channel. <laughs> there you go, that one's free. Yeah. <laughs> What's our cons consultation for you? I know, yeah, Spec Savers would have charged you a fortune. I know. But... There you go. Saving your money and bringing your entertainment at the same time. Gary saying, uh, Happy New Year, guys. Newbie to the channel, tuning in from northeast of England. Welcome, Gary. A huge uh, welcome to you, mate. It's black. Well, we're talking about the passport. Sorry about that, Chris. Thank you very much for the £5 super chat. I'm sorry we missed that, mate. It's it's weird today. There's some things that are not showing up on that. I know, because right, I've picked up a few that aren't on yours, on mine, you know. Sorry about that. Well, thank you very much for the £5 super chat, dude. Thank I appreciate you. that. Appreciate that. He's Jet Neo rolling. Neo. Positive rates, let's get that gear up. Etsy had 20 minutes out, thank you, Matt. God, that's running late, isn't it? Or is it meant to run that late these days? I don't know. Nice, Leslie, we'll have to check that out. We are, um... Yeah. Hmm. Might not talk about that just yet. What was, what was the question? It was, um... They were just talking about new streamers in, in new locations. Ah. And I nearly, uh... Spoke about something I should probably hold on to for a while. Okay. Terry Campbell, thank you very much for the 20 Australian super chat saying, Happy New Year, guys. 2022 is a be Hope 2022 is a better year for everyone. Yes. Thank you very much, Terry, for the huge uh, super chat support. Appreciate you, mate. Yeah, I really appreciate it, Terry. You're always in the chat and always donating big amounts. So, And it, they all really, really, really add up. It's crazy. They do. They really help out, guys. So thank you for all of the support. It's over an hour late. That's pretty standard for the Middle East in it these days. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Matt. But yeah, we are. We the the only thing we'll say is that we are looking at expanding airliners live. Oh yeah. Is uh, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. Is the idea for 2022, guys? Um, read into that what you will. Uh, Ryan Spooner, thank you very much for the five pound super chat saying Happy New Year um, from Utoxeter. Don't know where that is. Or text. Um, oh, that is in England somewhere. But you Toxeter. Yeah, I've heard of that before. I'm really cautious with names like that because I wonder if someone's trying to like, you know, when you say, "Oh uh, yeah, my yeah. name's this," yeah, and you yeah, say yeah, it, yeah. and once you've said it, you regret saying it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ryan. I think I've fallen for one of them traps before. I know. I'm really cautious about them traps. I don't think you are trying to. No, get no, us. that is a place. Oh. That is a place. Thanks very much, Keith. Glad you're enjoying the stream, mate. Peter and Josh over at LAX are good. Thank you very much, uh, but not as good as you guys. Thank you very much. For I was actually watching uh, Peter and Josh last night. 
Uh, they do a fantastic job. Really enjoyed their stream, actually. And they give us a massive shout-out as well, so big respect to those Is guys. LA Flights as well? LA Flights, yeah. Is that the name? Okay, I don't really watch them that much. It's just because, like... Usually Kevin's on at the same time, and obviously we've got a really good relationship with Kevin. Yeah. But I just thought I'd check them out last night, and uh, yeah, their video is, is excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leslie, yeah, thanks for the five as well, saying Happy New Year to you all. Here's to 2022. Thank you very much, uh, Leslie. Stay safe as well. Happy New Year, Leslie. Hope you're well. And Nick S with the 2022 Super Chat saying, Cracking stream as always. All the best for 2022. Thanks, Nick, for another huge Super Chat. We're getting some massive support today, guys. Really appreciate that. Top donation of the day came in right at the beginning for £50 as well from Kevin. Uh, big, massive shout out to you as well for the uh, big support at the beginning of the show. And we've had some really good support all the way through as well, guys. Thanks very much. John Scott saying nice camera work. Oh, thank you, John. Uh, I'm not sure, Riley. Today's stream's flown by quarter past 12 already. Guys, has Ryanair flight 3543 taken off yet? Because my dad is the first officer. Not sure if I've missed it. Um, I don't really look at the flight numbers, so if you could let me know where it was going, maybe I could... If anyone in the chat maybe remembers. I'm sure you can have a look on radar, though. Hey, look, I've got a 5G on my phone. Oh, look at you. Flexing, eh? It's interesting, this network that I went with, because <coughs> when I first signed up to them at the start of last year, it was really bad coverage, and I was like, oh, regretting it loads. But recently, they've rolled out a whole new layer of, like, 4G and 5G, and all of a sudden, everything's really quick. Nice. So I'm actually a bit buzzing, because I, it's a very cheap network. It's just on my personal phone, that is. Ryanair rolling once again. Is that still? Is this the one that we were talking about? I don't know, dude. Cheers, Farang. Oh, that's gold save. That's, that's a fast climb, isn't it? it certainly is. Hey, Kevin. Nice to see you, mate. There he is. This is an Air France hop. No, it's oh, it's a louder. Yeah, Joe, we don't use the um, Panasonic equipment. Louder A320. It doesn't have the the best color science, in my opinion. Yeah. That's one thing I do like about Sony is that the colours are quite distinct. And they're accurate as well. Yeah. I, I can always notice Sony colours, you know, when someone's taking photos or videos with them. Yeah. I can I can spot them. In, especially with the skin tones, that's where it kind of stands out a lot. They're really accurate on skin tones. I yeah. find that with Canon, sometimes it kind of just doesn't look just right. Just crunches them a bit, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's hard to explain. Another visit for the Louder. i uh, seen this a few times uh, last year. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a Ryanair subsidiary. Well, we don't really see it at Manchester that often. Sometimes they fly some strange things, and like obviously the Buzz 737 Maxes. Yeah. Um, While we were Southside the other day, we a 737 Max for Ryanair came in, actually. I didn't edit the picture because I, I didn't get a good picture of it, but... Yeah. Uh, that was good to see. They get them all the time at like Stansted and stuff, don't they? Like, they're not very common here at Manchester. I don't know why. Mm. We got obviously two E seven three seven matches quite often. Yeah, we do. We use Sony, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Another nice, uh, well-paced taxi, I guess you could say. <laughs> Joe says Loud is based at Stansted mainly. Yeah. And my niece has just started working for them as crew. That's awesome, Joe. Oh, nice. 
they so have a night mode only saying they do have a night mode but that's about it right <laughs> I've I, I've never asked this question actually I've never thought like looked into it but louder do they have louder uniforms or do they have Ryanair uniforms on board like are they working oh, okay. for Ryanair I don't yeah know. I don't know does anyone in the chat know that because I mean, are they just Ryanair staff, are they? Or are they like a whole separate company in that respect? Yeah, it's out of date, Joe, the YouTube description, actually. We do need to... Um, yeah, it is. We, well, we're not going to put our camera details and, and equipment in the uh, in yeah. the chat. We'll put a few other bits and bobs in there, though, like um, things that you guys may want to buy that may uh, help you improve your setups to match ours. A few secrets though but if you are just tuning in ladies and gents we've made some massive improvements over the christmas break uh the main one being our sound to set up ladies and gents so you'll probably notice that myself and mr brownville sound a bit clearer yeah um along with the aviation as well there is a little bit of wind noise that's some um feedback we've received today which we'll correct this week um but apart from that we're extremely happy with it guys uh, it should be providing you with a lot clearer audio um and uh it gives us a lot more flexibility as well in terms of recording. Louise so certainly we're have. very happy with that. But look, can you see that, Brown? Look at the, look at that plane that came in earlier, waiting for that louder to pass. The size difference, crazy. Um, yeah, people, some people in the chat certainly have red uniforms. All right, ah, okay. okay. Yeah, I've never flown on louder. Etihad sending their dash 10 today. Yeah, I saw that this morning, actually. Shame my bizjet didn't taxi out when the 380 was, <laughs> was, yeah. was going out. Yeah, I know, Lee, right? <laughs> so got the Emirates A380 allegedly estimated or scheduled, should I say, to be due out in under an hour's time. Whether that will happen, we will find out. Warm welcome to Airliners Live, everyone. You're tuning in on the Super Sunday show here at Manchester. We're at the Runway Visitor Park, uh, looking at uh, Runway 23 Right, which is the one that you use at Manchester today. It's the preferred runway, and it's on Runway 1. Only the one open, sadly. It's been almost two years since Runway 2's been <laughs> open. Bit of a, a scary thought. Thank you, Tony. That's good feedback, mate. Appreciate that, dude. I'm hyped. I'm so glad that yeah. everything's working as it should be. I wonder how the battery on this thing is looking. Oh, yeah. That's a good question. Still full, mate. Still full? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of hours on that, then, haven't we? Nice. The Terra Deck will run out before should just, that. Should just buy a few of them. Yeah, I think so. They're, they're OP. Yeah. Uh, Bradders, welcome to you, mate, on Twitch. Nice to see you. I think the Terra Deck has about four or five hours battery life on that, so... You that know, may, that kind of may the improve it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, to be honest, it's this that really needs yeah, I guess. the battery somehow. But, I mean, it's not massive. I mean, we're not even halfway through today's supply, so I think we're all right. Iceland Air just holding um, for the louder to taxi past, and then that'll be on its way out. So we'll be seeing another 757 in a couple of minutes, guys. Yeah. Mrs. Airline is live. Got me a really nice camera strap uh, for Christmas. Oh, yeah. I was looking down and I was moving my camera. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Brand new, brand new uh, yeah. peak design camera strap. Really nice, actually. Hashtag wish I was sponsored. <laughs> there you go. Looking fresh. Completely committed to the 100 to 400 now. I was going to say, did you tell them about your, so your lens? My 2 to 600 has been sold. So, uh, yeah, really happy with the 100 to 400 G Master. Which is on the uh, photography camera here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're completely committed to that one now. I've still got my Sigma 150 to 600 mil lens, which I never use, and I want to sell that. Um, I just can't be bothered getting around to sell it. <laughs> yeah. Because that's probably worth a good few hundred quid. Like maybe like 600, maybe I could probably sell it for, with the condition it's in, which is in a really good condition. Like it's all working. There's no scratches or anything on the lens. Um, it's nice and clean and all that. Yeah, Laurie M, I know what channel you're talking about there. And they regularly make little digs at our channel. I think they're a bit jealous. But yeah, they... Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
they uh, they use a phone to stream and, and yeah it's terrible terrible quality <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not being nasty that it just genuinely is it's just not very good quality and they, they, they also seem to think that we don't live stream as well they say on a few live streams that airliners live never live stream but we're always here at the same time as them so I don't know how they work that one out uh -huh. but yeah yeah terrible quality I know who you're talking about That's a, it's a funny one <laughs> it's a bit of a meme yeah it is a bit of a meme now to be honest <laughs> I think it's every show we feature in some aspect on there show in a negative way. <laughs> it's quite, <laughs> quite funny. Uh, we're from the we're viewing from the runway visitor park, Simon. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna make a live streaming channel, guys, you 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 just want to have something that's. Uh, that's the best quality possible or at least that's what we want anyway we certainly wouldn't be happy live streaming from the phones um we do it here and there for like a bit of behind the scenes stuff but yeah the main the main live stream is your it's your flagship at the end of the day it's showing what your channel's all about and um from the beginning even when me and charlie were doing it with because it's very easy to say oh well, you you're earning loads of money now so you're able to buy equipment well yeah but five years ago we were still making improvements and investing our own money into it yeah. myself and charlie took out a, um, a finance loan to purchase our initial equipment so it's all down to how good you want your channel to be and how dedicated to your channel you are um you can make it happen if you want to make it happen but yeah back in the day when me and charlie had 50 viewers we were still investing to improve the stream. And you weren't making anything off that. We years. certainly weren't making anything. You weren't even partnered then, so or anything. What's that in the uh, background there? It looks like an ATR. Oh no, it's not. It's a. Is that a Ryanair? Is it? Or is that the Etihad? That could be the Etihad, actually. Terry Moss, Happy New Year to you. Uh, loving the stream, guys, as always. Thank you, mate. Yeah, no, they are using the phone, though. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think that's a, I think that's the Etihad. You know, ladies and gents, look like it. I first thought it was an ATR. It looked like the wings were like mounted on the top for some reason. Just like a weird perspective thing. Yeah, Scotsman. Yeah. Yeah, it's very strange. I don't think we've ever we've ever spoke to the guy, so I don't know why he keeps making digs at us all the time. But it's uh, a bit. bit odd. And we're always friendly towards other uh, aviation streamers. I think the only time we've had a word with him is when he mentioned on we we got notice on one of his streams that he was. He s apparently he smelt some drugs in the RVP and for some unknown reason decided to blame it on Andy and Liz live on stream <laughs> which is just the most <laughs> so he got a strongly worded email from me and then since that day he's just <laughs> took a dislike to us <laughs> he went, sorry dude just don't make stupid comments and then everything will be fine <laughs> that is funny uh. <laughs> just turn around Andy and Liz zooting up on the RVP <laughs> Yeah, it was the Etihad. Okay, nice one. Etihad 787-10 today. Dreamliner. It's Ryanair just there uh, vacating in front of us. The Etihad should be in any moment now. Thanks a lot, Victor. Glad you're enjoying the show, mate. There he goes. Oh, uh, <laughs> Spud Gun, he's off. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch this. I'll tell you what, I bet you get blown around a bit in that, don't you? I know, yeah, Storm Barra. Tiny little biz jet there. All right, let's have a look for this Etihad. It should be in view any moment now. Yes, if you haven't liked the stream yet, please give us a like. It really yeah. helps out a lot. 757 uh, next out. Oh, yeah. Okay, got the Iceland there, 75. Entering the runway now. But, yeah, the vast, vast majority of the aviation... Uh, community, especially uh, live community, are oh, 10 out of 10, really nice. Yeah, I mean, we love spending time. It's a Mauran stream, uh, Aviation in Action, oh, Darren Darren's, streams, yeah, Darren's awesome. 10 out of 10. Yeah. LA flights, um, uh, Kevin from LAX as well. Um, 
It's yeah. just I think what it is is it's just a select few streamers who are just really, really negative and a bit jealous, I think. Yeah, like Darren uh, from Aviation in Action, I'm a huge fan of his. Like we yeah. helped him out a lot in the early days. He's very thankful for that. You get he's, we were still in touch a lot. Yeah, I had a yeah. chat with Darren uh yesterday or the day before yesterday and um yeah they uh he, he produces some fantastic content. He really, does. really good. Obviously his like main thing, I mean he does stream from Heathrow occasionally, Luton, Gatwick and all that. Uh Stansted I think sometimes. Um his main thing is military, though, and he's really, really knowledgeable about uh, military, especially when it's around uh, Bryce Norton uh, and the likes. Does a really good job. That's aviation in action. If you're into your military, go and check him out. Phil Sellers, thanks for the five months. Cheers, Phil. Uh, Dopey on Twitch saying the Ryanair flight that the person was asking about is now pinging. Thank you very much, mate. Hey. Uh, well, Phil remembered. saying, Happy New Year, guys. Just got back from work. Love my hoodie, courtesy of my amazing missus. Awesome. So you got one of our hoodies for Christmas. That's nice. great, Phil. Glad you enjoy it, mate. Uh, Killer Knight saying, uh, Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year, mate. Uh, subscribing tier one for three months. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I agree, William Jones. Could not agree more, mate. Here we go. Etihad Dreamliner about to touch down. Look at them wings. Let's get a nice wide shot of this. Oh, wind's picking up now, guys. It's getting windy, isn't it? Definitely a uh, a chip day today, Brownville. I think. I know. I was thinking that. I was like, we'll go for a little today. a little catch up. I assume After they the are. Street. Catch oh, up. Actually, is it open? Yeah. I, I, know, think I was thinking that. Yeah, I was yeah, like, is, yeah. I mean, I'd imagine it would be. Go for our pre-week meeting over the old chips. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Two birds, one stone. A bit of uh, lemon mayo as well. Oh yes. Lovely mild conditions at Man. Are you outside, Louise? I <laughs> feel very mild where I'm standing. <laughs> it's just the airport, isn't it? It just like attracts wind. <coughs> God, look how big that thing is. Might as well stick with this Dreamliner. <laughs> Martin saying, we need to start eating healthy, according to Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Jen knows what it's all about. I've used a lot of energy standing up today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Plenty of calories in them chips, I'm sure, to keep you going. If you are new to the channel, guys, and you're enjoying your stay, make sure you subscribe. It costs nothing. Yeah. And hit the like button as well, guys. really helps us out. And we are approaching 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. So help us out and uh, hit that button. Share the stream around if you can as well. We'll hit that number. Hopefully this month, it'll be amazing. Be a good start to the year. Esther, very happy new year to you as well. Wish you all the best. Bell Juice just saying, I really appreciate how you openly admit, uh, sorry, how you openly men mention other channels yeah. Even though he already follows most of them. <laughs> That's it. 
spread the love in it. Some of these channels, especially the ones with smaller viewers, do deserve the views, you know. Yes, there's a lot of people, and um, Darren gets some really good numbers, but he does. He doesn't have um, a huge amount of viewers on every stream, and people like him who go out and make the effort um, just deserve all the viewers they can get, honestly. Yeah. And uh, on Airliners Live, we're, we're definitely uh, up for pushing channels that make the effort. Yeah, 100%. Darren. Darren's definitely in my top three, I think, of yeah. streamers to to subscribe to. That's Darren from Aviation in Action. And right now, I love saying this is my first time on Twitch watching Airliners Live and already loving it. Oh, Aww. awesome, dude. Thank you, mate, for watching. Glad you're enjoying it. Ah, uh, okay, there was another Ryanair taxiing out as well. We weren't sure which one was which, but I think we caught it on the taxi, didn't we? 29,000 subscribers have we just hit. Have we? Guys, can we hit 30k on today's show? <laughs> I mean... Everyone hit click the subscribe <laughs> button now, guys. If you're watching, stop what you're doing and click subscribe, guys, quick. It's ambitious, but I guess it's possible. You can do it. So if you're watching on YouTube on your phone, click the X, then click subscribe, and then click live chat again. And let's see how we can do today, ladies and gents. There's our 737 wing bounce. We do flex a lot, the Boeing wings, especially on the 73s. It's not quite the Dreamliners, but... Yeah, Matthew, we are not I think we're giving him quite a few viewers, to be honest. <laughs> mm. Loving the old flask. Nice cup of tea. There you go, Matt just saying that there's uh, an Aer Lingus A321 Neo on the taxi out. So this is a long range version of the Neo that can uh, fly transatlantic. Yep. Um, Matt just using the pinger mode there to good use. And uh, it's an aircraft we were talking about earlier in the show about the future of uh, narrow body aircraft. And the A321 seems to be, uh, especially the Neo versions, very popular. Uh, these days. <laughs> this aircraft touching down uh, is inbound from Alicante, a uh, trip of 907 miles. Uh, and it's a three year old aircraft for EasyJet, uh, Golf Uniform Zulu Hotel in November. It's pretty new again, isn't it? It is. Three years old, the Neo. No, we, we wouldn't delete anyone, Joe, talking about Big Jet. Um, Jerry was probably one of the first to market um, in terms of aviation live streaming. Definitely pioneered aviation live streaming, 100%. There's no doubt about that. And um, he puts the craft in, guys. Now, his presenting style may not be to everyone's tastes. I completely accept that. And I think Jerry accepts that as well. But he's built up a great community, guys. And um, he puts the effort in. He certainly does. He's out all the hours, guys, bringing you content. So, yeah, we, we have a lot of respect for um, the guys at Big Jet, 100%. <laughs> Do Another easy jet on the way in. definitely a lot more pleasant when the sun was out. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> it was very nice. We got a bit of sun. A bit of vitamin D. <coughs> J 
Chase Claflin came over from Twitch just to hit the like button. That's what we're talking about, Claflin. Thank you. Qatar Airways, four minutes out. Cheers, right now. Yeah, no, I, I've, I've heard that as well, Joe. Yeah. <coughs> he, he can be his own worst enemy sometimes, I think, but at the end of the day, it's that's just live content, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes you say things that you that you wish you wouldn't, you you hadn't. Is that Ryanair flight we were talking no, about? No, it left already. All oh, right. Uh, this Ryanair is on its way to <laughs> Milan. Trip of 656 miles, 12 year old aircraft, this one. Irish wrench. Uh, I need to take a drink, so okay. can you take over the camera for like yep. just a few minutes and then. Yeah, boy. That's it, that's it. Nope. <laughs> uh, and Jockey, thank you very much for the 899 Super Chat, dude. Appreciate you. Thanks a lot. So some bing bongs in the chat. Okay, doc. Just turn Mr. Brown Bill's mic down while he's uh, nipped to the loo, guys. There we go. <laughs> Guitar triple on left base. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Joe. We've got B cameraman on now, guys, so apologies. No, Charlene's not been in the chat today, has she? Rain's just started in Bolt and hope it misses us. Yeah, me too as well, dude. Yeah, Devil, it's definitely worth the trip, dude. If it's about an hour away from you, you can spend the day here and uh, come down on a nice day and just enjoy the aviation. See an aircraft on long final, just seeing the uh, approach lights. Phil White, nice to see you, mate. Raining in Wigan as well, is it? Yeah, I agree, Will. It's, it's, it comes down to personal taste, I think. Some people, I mean, with Jerry's streams, some people like the really animated presenting style, um, and some people prefer our style, which is just a bit more kind of just relaxed, laid back. But there's pros and cons to both, right? He, uh, he builds up a lot of hype in his streams, and uh, it certainly uh, attracts a lot of viewers. See the Air Lingus just taxiing out, which we'll see in a minute. And uh, we have got a triple seven as well on final. It's gone a little bit quiet at the airport. We have got an aircraft taxi now, which will come into shot in a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. 
There it is, uh, Lingus A321, which is uh, going to be on its way to the States. It's a Neo variant. Yeah, Qatar, we can just see that on final now. We'll uh, grab that, guys. There it is. Qatar triple. And Tony, thank you very much for the triple seven super chat as well going in there for the arrival of the Qatar into Manchester. Really appreciate the support, dude. Thank you. Yeah, he was uh, getting blown about a bit on that approach, wasn't he, guys? Of course, a 21 Neo on its way to JFK. We'll switch back to the Qatar triple. There it is. Ed, thank you very much for the 321 super chat, mate. Appreciate that, dude. Thanks a lot. One of my favourite airframes for the Qatar livery, the 777. Certainly does suit the aircraft.
Trying to really zoom out to get this in shot, guys. They have a nice close-up shot of the uh, landing gear there on the 777 as well. Uh, when are you next doing East Mids again? We have plans for East Mids this year. We've not booked a date in as of yet, uh, but we do have plans for East Midlands. Mr. Brownville has returned. I'll get the microphone back on. There he is. Should be Hello. sounding lovely and fresh. I am back. And uh, Louise, Sylvia, welcome to Business Class for two months. Thanks a lot for the support. I actually checked the audio on, on my phone, you know, listened back to the stream. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds so good. Does it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, Hyped. really, really good. That's awesome. The wind is barely noticeable, though. Like, it, you can just about hear it, but it's no, no, not at all intrusive. Oh, okay, good. So, I don't... I think what we're thinking and what the chat's thinking are on two different levels, you know, because I thought it'd be, like, visually, like, annoying people, but it's just, like, it's it's all right. Nice. It seems fine. Ryanair 7-3 now rolling. Took an intersected departure. This aircraft uh, is on its way to Krakow in Poland. Four-year-old aircraft. Not the steepest climb you'll see from Orion, eh? It's getting a bit chilly now. Yeah, just a bit, isn't it? I put my gloves on, actually. I was going to say, how come you not got them on? Yeah, go on, I'll put the gloves on. <laughs> well, we've got a little, a little quick break. Well, there is an aircraft on. On approach, Final, yeah. yeah, he's, uh, let's have a look. Uh, the aircraft coming in is KLM 737700 um, from Amsterdam, departed 49 minutes ago. Yeah, exactly, Tony. It's um, the wind is kind of just one of those things. We we are out out in the wind, so you are going to hear it. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, Matthew, it's just because when it's really cold at the moment, it's a lot easier for for me and Andy to do these shows because there's a lot less setting up that needs doing. Um, we can swap over on the camera a lot easier. Um, so yeah, this is this is kind of what we do during the winter. Yeah. I may uh, follow suit, I think. Oh, put some gloves on. Yeah, my hands are getting a bit icy. There we go. Gloves are fitted. KLM 737 arriving here at Manchester Airport the bluest thing you'd see in the sky <laughs> it's 
A382 out of 10 past 1. Yeah, yeah, right. I'll believe that when I see it. Beautiful. Matt Smith loves the Embraers from KLM, does he? Yeah. <laughs> the impression I got when we were at uh, <laughs> Boulder Barn. <laughs> right, I'm going to have a quick look on radar. Let's see what we're what we're looking at. <laughs> I've got the easy jet. Uh, just getting onto the runway now, but there is an aircraft due in before that. It's an airling. It's A320 from Dublin. Colors, the new color scheme. So we'll see that soon. Coming in, into shot. Uh, there's a couple of aircraft pinging on the ground. Notably a um, Turkish A321 and a Ryanair 737 as well that are due to go out soon. As well as another Ryanair 73 to Berlin. Looks like they get an easy jet out first though. Hope you've enjoyed the show today though, ladies and gents. Obviously with the new audio setup, which like I said, I just uh, had a quick moment to listen off stream. And I think it look, it sounds, sorry, really, really good. I'm really happy with the results. It seems like the, the balance of audio between the aircraft and the talking is pretty well balanced. And also the, the voices sound pretty crisp uh, as opposed to what we used to have which was a stereo microphone which picked us up from one mic and kind of we were on different distances and our heads point in different directions so it was a bit a bit uh, not um, professional sounding in my opinion is that airling is a320 Older aircraft, that. And we're back in the room. We back, Martin's back. Big gloves on. Oh, nice that's... little stretch of the legs there. Nice lightning on that uh, Lingus. Yeah, looks really nice. The 
great sound as well from the A320. Yeah, you should be getting that aircraft audio really clearly there, there guys. Cheers, Darren. The sound is brilliant. Well done, chaps. Nice one. Cheers, Darren. I hope so. <laughs> we spent a lot of money on new equipment over Christmas. <laughs> Stunning sound, says Lee on the TV. Is the A380 on time? Probably not. Well, I just walked past it. It's not pressurised yet, so you can tell that by the deflection on the uh, the rudder. Right. Uh, it's fully deflected because of the wind direction here. Yeah. Um, and when the aircraft pressurises, then uh, that rudder will straighten up. Yeah, let's let's stick around for a bit and see. Yeah, I'm, I'm easy. Enjoying it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Austrian is now pinging. Cheers, Matt. Good stuff. I'm glad you guys are seeing uh, the improvement now. That's or hearing the improvement, should I say? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is noticeable. So it's always a worry when you you get a piece of equipment that's not like it's something we've saved for. So it was quite a bit of a spend. We were there's always that worry that will it be as good as we hope it will? But mm. I think it has proven to uh, improve the stream a lot. Actually, it's been good. I'm hyped for what it can do for um, sounds of aviation as well. Yeah, yeah, that's Because technically we could have four different mics yeah. <laughs> recording at the same time. Right. Balance them up and get stems off each one yeah. and mix it in post. Like, that's going to be nuts. And if you don't know, guys, sounds of aviation was a little thing we started just before they closed runway two. Yeah. And uh, it's basically where we just film the aircraft departing from Southside and just try and get the best quality sound that we possibly can. Yeah, really so I like think we're going to the, the good sounds that you can hear. We're going to have to look into some ambient mics, some yep. directional mics, and at least get three that are going to make the sounds of aviation somewhere else and then just edit them. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah. be so good hyped for that. Louise, thank you very much for the 79 pence super chat. Really appreciate that one. Yeah, that would be amazing. It is nice to to highlight the great sounds we have in aviation. Things like you know the A220s or the A321 Neos, yeah, the 737s, 757s. You know, some awesome sounds out there. There is. Uh, we've not got any night camp plans, guys, I'm afraid. That's not no. something we're really that interested in, to be honest. It also gets very dark here <laughs> overnight. And it's very quiet as well. Yeah. I wouldn't particularly like to be going south side at night with a load of equipment. Yeah. It's probably not the safest thing to be doing. We don't know, Marcus, when they're opening 2-3 left. There's nothing official from the airport yet about that. No. We hope it's some point this year, but it's all going to depend on traffic numbers. Like, we're nowhere near capacity for one runway yet. They haven't even opened Terminal 3 yet, so... So there's, there's no chance they're going to open another another uh, runway, I'm afraid, just yet. No. But we'll see. Optimistic. You need to order one of these. I do. I'll order you one tonight. Okay. <laughs> Mc Media and Phil, or MC Media and Phil, with a two pound super chat. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you. I miss the sounds of Concord. That would have been one hell of a, an aircraft to catch mm. for the sounds of aviation. <laughs> I'm gonna put my neck on the line and say April. Really? March, April. Yeah, uh, I, I'd, I'd be thinking more summer, but. Yeah, I'd be who, thinking the summer rush as well. Who knows? 
We will see. Ooh, the EasyJet Europe car special. Lovely jubbly. One thing I like just as much as the actual equipment itself is like just how easy it is to go in, make your adjustments, yeah, pose yeah, it yeah. back up. That's true, yeah. I like how you've set it up as well, it's just nice and tight. All tidy. in a bag, self-contained. Yeah. Heavy rain coming your way now, lads. Oh god. I mean we are looking at wrapping up soon. Assuming the three eighty is on time. Yeah, I can see that weather actually is coming in pretty hot. Okay. Just gonna trash the audio a bit in unless we put this somewhere else. Yeah. Because I'm gonna bag the camera up. I suppose we could put that like just here. Yeah. I'll we'll, we'll have to react to that when it happens. Oh no, Paul saying really heavy rain in Liverpool. Chucking, <laughs> chucking it down in Warrington. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this will be fun. Where's the umbrella? Will it be worth it though if it starts? Ah, oh, it's already started, isn't it? I felt a few drops already. Yeah, oh look. We need to bag it up now, I think. Right. This is going to come on pretty quick, I reckon. Okay. Right, Stand by, guys. <laughs> make some <laughs> modifications. This will take a few minutes. My camera's there as well. Have you got space in your camera bag for it? I may go and put this in the car, you know. Just have a look. You know what, I'll just use this. Oh yeah. Okay, camera is uh, no way, guys. I'm just gonna get a few things wrapped up here now. Stand by. We are still with you on the old microphones, but we're just preparing for the rain that's about to come by the looks of it. I didn't put any waterproofs on today either, unfortunately, because I thought we were gonna have a dry day today. Just do it underneath. That's it. Yep. Gucci. I'll do, man. Easy job. Stand by, guys. We're still. Uh, Getting things prepared here. Okay. Right. Do 
you want a battery change, Andy, before you do this? 26%. Right, there we go. Right, are we good? good. The only thing is us now, I think we're going to get wet regardless, aren't we? Right, HUD's going up chat. Tui fly, nice. Just put my camera away as well. Thanks for the heads up on the rain, guys. You uh, saved us a bit of a rush there. We're back in the room. Here we are. With a few movements as well on the way out, which is nice. good. Was, uh, was. Apologies for that, you know how it is. Take a couple of minutes, means we can carry on with the show. It's an interesting livery on this, isn't it? Two fly. Livery. I know, I'm gutted. I just put my camera away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wounded. Two e fly 737. I like it. We are ready for the biggest of storms now. Might not be too bad in the end. A380 pinging on flight radar. What? No. No way, Fox Arts. Wow, wow, woo. That is crazy if that is actually already pinging. Excellent. Excellent news, guys. Yeah. Huge. Great stuff. It's actually on time, what? I know. <laughs> As what? you know, we're on the channel. The A380 is usually our final departure, guys, so it's good that it's on time today. Yeah, because the rain is going to make it the quality not great I'm afraid if, if it continues thank you all for tuning in today though it's been a huge stream a huge return yeah. to the airport for us and a good uh, start to the new year 2022 on Airliners Live we're not messing around this year we're giving it our all yeah we've got lots of plans guys there's three aircraft taxiing down to the start of the runway there we've also got a Tui Touching down as well. Just a 737 again. The rain is falling now as well. The good thing about this audio setup is it shouldn't be as loud, the rain. It used to like, you used to be able to really hear it on the microphone, but uh, I think it's a, now a setup where it's not too bad. But it is raining. And we're chilling. We did have a waterproof thing for this. Not sure which pocket I put it in on the bag. May have left that at home, I think. I'll have to double check. What are you after? He came with a, like a waterproof topper. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll be all right. Oh, we had a super chat as well. Oh, we did. 
Uh, Cumbria, thank you very much for the 20 pound super chat saying, get yourselves a cheeky Chinese. <laughs> hey, have a bit of that, Cumbria. Nice one. And Les Walker, thanks very much for the five saying, happy new year. Uh, coffee on me, lads. All the best for 2022. Appreciate you, Lee. Thanks very much, guys. Two uh, very generous donations there. Thank you very much. Emirates will be out soon, the A380, that's good. We've got a couple of aircraft moving in and out as well before that'll go out. Oh no, what happened to that? It fell off. <laughs> And if you're new to the stream, make sure you subscribe. Yep. And also hit the like button as well. I think we're over 1,500 likes now. 1,800 actually, so can we hit 2,000? Cheers guys, that'd be awesome. That'd be pretty, pretty crazy to do. That just flashed, what's that, what's that about? I can't press it, the screen's too wet. <laughs> oh well, we'll find out later I guess. Landico, no worries, mate. Thanks for tuning in. 1.9k likes, according to Levy. Simon's saying we should see some heavy spray coming off the runway if you do get rain, saying Simon. Ooh. Yeah, we will do. It'll look very nice. I know Emirates on time. What is going on? Awesome. What a crazy thing to witness <laughs> 2k likes showing on Jake's uh, YouTube how nice. are we doing on uh, subscribers guys We could hit three thirty a thousand subscribers soon. That would be amazing. That'd be huge. Yeah, it's a big number. That. I'm not gonna lie. Saudi about to go over me onto finals. Nice. We'll see Saudi as well before the end of the show. And yeah, that'll kick off some spray right there. Yes, the rain is certainly coming down now, folks. Yeah. <laughs> So we will be uh, ending the show on the A380, guys, for the departure today. Good news that we managed to catch it before. Uh, <laughs> I think if it was delayed today, we wouldn't have wouldn't have stuck around for it for sure. If this rain gets any heavier. Yeah. Twenty-nine point one k subs, nice. And don't forget, if you want to enjoy some flight simulation content, guys. 7 p.m. tonight, head over to John's channel on Twitch, uh, which is twitch.tv forward slash John Fezzer with two Zs. Uh, mods, if we can get that link in the chat as well, twitch.tv forward slash John Fezzer. He could have promoted it himself in the chat if he showed up to the stream. I know, he could, got it. Which he said he would. Go and uh, get yourself signed up on Twitch, guys, and give John some support if we can. Um, he will be live at 7 p.m. today. Dave, thank you very much for the £5 super chat as well. Really appreciate that, Dave. Saying Happy New Year, all the best for 2022. Appreciate that, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Really appreciate that. Very kind of you. Swiss, not seen this for a while. I was just going to say, yeah. Nice to see it as a full sized Airbus as well. I know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was unexpected. You have Swiss A321 from yeah. Zurich. Uh, 11 years old, this aircraft. Hotel Bravo India Oscar Mike on the edge. And uh, a flight today of 545 miles. 
didn't record this one there, good uh, touches. Awesome wave from the Swiss captain there. Here we go, the Emirates A380 is on the taxi out, ladies and gents. Here we, here we go. And there's John's links in the chat, guys. So don't forget to make an account on Twitch so that you can get involved in the chat. You yeah. do need to have an account to chat on his channel. Um, but it's well worth it, ladies and gents. Uh, and he'll be live at uh, 7 p.m. tonight. We'll be in there modding for him as well. Nice. The rain is really coming down now, folks. Yeah. We've got something heavy on final as well, which is a Saudi, I believe. I think for the last four or five streams, we've got rained on, haven't we? Oh, I think we always do. That's just that's just typical, isn't it? We were looking at the uh, highlights, weren't we? Yeah. Of it last year, and it was like, just rain. What is with us and getting caught in rain? Like, obviously, two big shows that we did last year. We did the uh, the Heathrow special show, which we went to um, the mound at two seven right, and then over to Myrtle Avenue. We get absolutely drenched. We went to East Mids and got absolutely drenched. And every time we're here, we get drenched as well. Yeah, looking around, guys, it doesn't look like there's any signs of this uh, stopping anytime soon. <laughs> nope. We're in it. Heavy solid. Saudi a Dreamliner just arriving here at Manchester in the rain and we got the Emirates A380 on the taxi out as well I'll tell you what guys the rain is some big blobbage yeah oh gosh hey, yeah, really just, big drops yeah it's it's the kind of rain that just gets everything soaked very quickly oh dear right <laughs> just about to see it the Emirates A380 on the taxi out I'll tell you what, it'd be good getting in a cafe, wouldn't it? Phil Sellers, thanks very much for the £3.80 Super Chat saying, uh, looking forward to an amazing year with you guys. Thank you, Phil. Oh, thank you, Phil. That's kind. I can't sign into Twitch. Every time I put anything in, it says it's being used or invalid password. That I'm is... I'm not sure on that one, dude. Yeah, it's not something we can, we can fix ourselves. <coughs> Oh my gosh, that is that is heavy. some nasty rain, that isn't it? That is heavy, no. That is nasty. Could you keep an eye on that? <laughs> yeah, this is a. Uh, Nasty rain. Every time I go home, I go home soaked. <laughs> it's a standard part of the job, isn't it? <laughs> Need to wipe that lens. Is that lightning? No, it's sky behind with a, with a flash. God. I don't know if it's going to illuminate many planes with that. I was going to say, it's not really what the flash is for. <laughs> Maybe blinding the pilot. 
he's flashing them. Eleven percent battery. I think that'll be enough to catch this three eighty. I think I'll be next out. I uh, got Ryan there just lining up. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll be There you go, Saudi a Dreamliner in the soaking wet conditions here at Manchester. And you can see the visibility as a result of the really, really heavy rain. Put my coat again. Can't see anything. Yeah, mine's pretty soaked. I didn't put my waterproof coat on today because I thought, no, nah, it's going to stay dry. I know, it, it looked lovely this morning. What crazy conditions that is, you can't see behind it. I know. Everything's soaked right now, including us. But don't forget, ladies and gents, before we go, make sure you like the stream and subscribe to the channel if you are new. That really helps us out a lot. 2K likes, thank you, everyone. Yes, thank you so much. Ryan uh, seven three next out. Uh, Brian, thank you very much for the 9.99 US super chat, mate. Thank you for braving the elements to bring us this great stream. You're welcome, mate. Cheers, thank you, thank you so much. For your support. We don't have much choice, really. We just have to get on with it, don't we? We do. Okay, there's a 2 E73, I think it is, next in. And then the A380 will be after that. I've got 9% battery left. I think I'll be alright. I think I'll be good. Sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now's the time, if not. No, I'll be good. And this 2 is from Barcelona. I've not seen 2 E fly from Barcelona to Manchester before. And Killer the Sane is an Austrian outbound to Vienna as well. Certainly is, Lee. Certainly is, mate. Yeah, it looks like it'll be this Austria. Uh, sorry, this um, 2E73 next in. And then immediately after that, looks like the Emirates A380 will go out. I think the Austrian is waiting behind the 380. I think. I wouldn't say so, mate. Looking where that 380 is. You not? No. In that case, I think it would be the Austrian, then the 380. Cheers, Marcio. Happy New Year, mate. Oh, I know, Leah. Yeah, yeah, I know, mate. Hello from Berry. Great stream, guys. He's living, Barry. Hello, hello. Two E seven three arriving here at Manchester in the very wet conditions. I mean, it is settling, guys. Yeah, it really is actually. Yeah, I think we've been really unlucky with the streams, rain-wise. Yeah. Recently, anyway. Yeah, sorry, it's the Austrian, then the Emirates A380 to go out. No worries, Darren. Thank you for tuning in, mate. <laughs>
You know, I'm going to change the battery. I'm not going to. I'm not going to risk it. Okay. I'm going to do a battery swap, ladies and gents, real quick. Because <coughs> I've seen there's a Ryanair on approach as well, so they'll probably wait for that before the 380 goes out. Standby, black screen. There we go. You know what it's all about. Yeah. So, ladies and gents, the Emirates A380 is ready to line up on the runway. I think they're just waiting for this Austrian to clear. Uh, as well as a Ryanair which is on approach and then we'll catch it in this stunning wet conditions it'll look awesome I think uh, right so I think that's all good right bear with ladies and gents I'm just gonna change a battery cheers Andrew There you go. Nice one. Thank you. We're back. Whee! <laughs> Behind, Jen. Behind. My rain stopped. It's pretty easy now, isn't it? Easy clap. No, I didn't realise there was an Austrian between the 380 and that, so that's. I was pretty confident on a battery. This is a snotty uh, tissue. <laughs> nah, it's just fresh. Fresh. <laughs> yeah, the visibility's cleared up a lot as well. You can actually see the 380 now. All the way down there. Ali, this is not live. This is not live? Oh, no, okay. it's not live, Ali. More like an F Formula 3 change than a Formula 1 says vision thing. <laughs> hey, that's still quick though. We have a lot of waterproofing as a problem that we have to dig through to get to the camera. So uh, that'll, that's my racing driver excuse for the day. <laughs> it was wet, bruv. Ryanair 7.3, I bet this will kick up some spray. Yeah, and the 380 next out behind. Here we go. Have a look at this spray. Of a bounce there. I wouldn't say we can't wait to go, Richard. We've been here since 9:30 a.m., mate. <laughs> I mean, we're not making it up, dude. You can see the rain on the camera. Not as much spray as I thought. It's not as much reverse thrust being used by the Ryanair. Some bloke who travels a lot with the £10 Super Chat saying greetings from Thailand. Happy New Year, one and all. Thank you, mate. I hope you had a great trip. Yep. It was awesome meeting you as well down at the RVP. Yeah, it was good seeing you the other day, dude. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing time down in Thailand, where the weather probably is slightly better than here. And the Emirates A380 now lining up on the runway. Record, record. The spray off the back of that. 30 degrees today. All right then. 30 degrees, wow. <laughs> the state of that. <laughs> Here we are, the Emirates A3A, finally. Not too late today. Thank you. 
King of the Skies just awaiting clearance to take off, I think. Before it starts its roll. Down 2-3 right here at Manchester. You've been tuned into Airliners Live. Hope you had a great stream today. We'll be back live on Friday, but there's a chance we might be live on Wednesday this week as well. Yeah. So stay subscribed, followed, and all that good stuff. Hit us up on social medias. We're on Facebook, Instagram. We're on YouTube, obviously, Twitch as well. And anybody who's became a VIP today, get yourself involved in the VIP Lounge over on Facebook, which is an exclusive group for paying members of Airliners Live. Whether you're supporting on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, you can get involved. Thanks for the 380 Super Chat, Tony, saying thanks for sticking around. No worries, mate. We were happy to do so, dude. Cheers, Tony. I think it's got to take off clearance now. Needs to get a move on because there's an aircraft right behind it on a final. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, they're going to have to go around. <laughs> there, there it is. Go. Roll the start. Nah, there's plenty of room with the easy jack. A couple of miles out, yeah. Yeah. There he goes. Great timing today. The Emirates A380 departing Manchester Airport. Quite a bit of spray on that as well. Mm, yeah, there was. That was awesome. Easy jet touching down with the uh, Pegasus holding short behind. Uh, it's not you wrong stream GAW21 <laughs> wrong stream dude <laughs> all the spray coming off the wheels on this A320 Yeah, sound of that 380 departure was somewhere else. Amazing, right? Excited to listen back to that when we get home. Yeah. Welcome, Jack. No worries, Angie. Thanks a lot. Sandy, welcome, tuning in from Canada. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you are new to the channel. Yeah, really definitely. Really does help us out. As EasyJet giving us a wave there. Yes. Love to see it, right? Oh, yeah. Love to see it. Anything on radar, ladies and gents, that's interesting? I was going to say that's out of date, isn't it? I know. <laughs> Unless there's another <laughs> Emirates A380 holding, holding short that we don't know about. Let me check on, check on mine. Uh, not much on the ground. There's a 2E73. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? And there's and there's uh, there's a Welling on final. I reckon stick around for that. Check to Welling. I reckon wrapping up after right the, uh, behind, yeah. the Vwelling, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon so, yeah. Because that's uh, something interesting. Hope you enjoyed the show today, though, ladies and gents. We've stuck it through the rain. 
Um, and uh, it's been quite rewarding, actually. It's been quite a nice uh, change of uh, scenery here at and the airport. And it's been a good, uh, a good amount of viewers in today as well. A lot more than we were expecting, guys. I know, really, a lot more. I did not expect anywhere near as many as you've had. We've had over 2,000 most of the stream. We went over 3,000 at one point yeah. on YouTube. Like, what on earth? That's crazy. Andrew with the five pound super chat saying happy new year. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers, thank you very much, dude. Loads of donations and, and memberships and everything. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, thank you guys. It does help us out a lot. Obviously they're what allow us to make the reinvestments into the channel to improve the quality. Yeah. And I think we're at a point now where we're pretty damn happy. We certainly are. We'll get home and have a proper listen to the uh, the improvements. There's some spray. 700 new subscribers today. Really? Yeah. What? Mental. That's such a huge number. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Donnie. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, welcome to all our new community members. Hope you enjoy your stay. And a huge welcome to all our New VIPs as well. You're all legends. Uh, Kubal, yes, you do, mate. And we're hoping if the uh, weather's good on Wednesday to potentially do a Barton show, guys. Yeah. We this shall is something we've not done in a while. Try and get that moving. I'll uh, sort that out later on. Almost 30,000 subscribers. Nice. Another top quality show. Ryan, uh, sorry, uh, Jet2737 just arrived here, got the wipers on. Hey, a little wave there as well. Hey. <laughs> and Andrew, thank you very much for the 449 Super Chat, mate. Appreciate it. <laughs> that uh, nice. The Barton Show is uh, light aircraft. So we've got a local airfield near us that's really busy for... Yep. Light aircraft movements. Also known as Manchester City Airport. Yep, and there's uh, helicopters as well. Yeah, you've got heli meds, you got the, you'll sometimes see police, you'll see uh, loads of flight school aircraft as well, and privately owned aircraft. Uh, and you see any of the crazy things there. And, yeah. and one of the best things about it is the view you get there is 10 out of 10. You're so close to the action. Is that still happening, Tony? The Virgin using the 350 to JFK Wednesday and Thursday this week. That could be interesting to catch. That could be definitely interesting. This has to be one of the biggest growing communities on YouTube, Airline is like. People <laughs> the good work says will be. Do you reckon? <laughs> Lord Glenwick says, it's miserable up north, lads. I might get out of bed in a minute. <laughs> Lucky guy, mate. <laughs> Wouldn't mind being lying at home, lying at home watching Airliners Live on, on the TV or whatever. And uh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce his name. Um, Ejlan Garak. I hope I'd, I, I've destroyed it. I know I didn't say it right. Says, greetings from Holland. Uh, really enjoying your channel. Sound is perfect, like you are standing beside you guys. Hey, that's the goal, isn't that's it? That's what we want. <laughs> we'll start like an ASMR channel next, I reckon. Yeah, just a whisper. So everybody, yeah. Here's Here we go, the, the Vwelling. <laughs> yeah. Pratt and Whitney, 1100 Gs. La, 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 la. Here's a, uh, a Vwelling A320, I think it was. Just touching down here at Manchester. Here in the absolutely pouring rain. I just zoomed in on the puddle down down low and you're probably seeing the state of of the weather at the moment. Yeah. But there we have it, the Vwelling A320. Hope you've enjoyed the show today, ladies and gents. Like I said, we'll be live definitely on Friday. But stay tuned because we may uh, slip in a Wednesday show as well from Manchester City Airport. Obviously, that's very weather dependent and yet to be confirmed anyway. 
make sure you keep an eye on our Facebook page for all of our updates. Yep. I do want to get a lot better at updating people through Discord as well. All right. Um, but yeah, that's one thing. That well, could be a New Year's resolution. Improve, must improve <laughs> Discord. F uh, Instagram stories as well is one I want to yeah. improve as well. Let's have a look. Virgin Atlantic A330 to New York is pushed back. All right, should we stick around for that? I'm just a bit worried about the equipment getting too wet. I don't see anything. Yeah, I am. That's I like, mean, we're flooding down there. I know, that's what I mean. <laughs> but, I mean, that would be an awesome departure to catch. Guys, do we wrap it up on the 3.30, <laughs> eh? <laughs> I think I know what the answer would be from I the mean, chat. I mean, we're wet already, aren't we? <laughs> it doesn't get any wetter than this. Yay or nay in the chat, guys. <laughs> Something tells me I know what the chat would say. My aunt is on that plane. Please stay, says Nat in the chat. Oh, no. We've got to do it now, haven't we? Have you noticed, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying you're making it up, Nat, at all. But have you noticed there's a lot of people recently coming in the stream saying either my dad's flying that, my yeah, aunt's yeah, on yeah, that, yeah. my That's nan's true, doing yeah. this, my dad's doing that. It seems like there's loads of people who are getting a lot more confident flying now. Right. And the the travel is really starting to pick up a little bit. Yeah, that's true. It's good to see, isn't it? Okay, my phone is like trying to switch itself off. I know right? mine is. My phone's just completely unusable at the moment. It's that wet. I mean, the positive is the mound's completely cleared, so... Is it? We're the only ones here at the moment. Are we? <laughs> so we are. I thought we were the part-time streamers. Oh, no, we're never here, are we? Oh, no, there's, there's still people here. There's still people here. <laughs> we're still going, ladies and gents. We're still going. There's another one. I'm the pilot on the 380. No, oh, yeah. you're not. <laughs> oh, is that Kyle again, is it? <laughs> no, you're not. Is he, is he watching fly today, a Spitfire? <laughs> no, I can't even get onto the YouTube app. Oh, there we go, I'm on. Are we on? I'll just stay on this because it's a safe bet. Your phone is super wet. It's just like, yeah. I could drop this phone in a bath and it'd actually dry it out a little bit. <laughs> Four hours is half a shift, lazy gits. I hope you're just, joking, sunshine. We're not just here for the four hours. Mate, I, I do hope you're joking, mate. <laughs> and this is why we don't usually stream that long, is because the airport gets very quiet around this time anyway. Yeah. Uh, and also the weather starts attacking us. <laughs> I think... One thing I want to make clear, guys, and I'm, I'm sure he's joking, but don't forget the live streams isn't... I know you guys see the live streams, but that isn't the all that goes on on Airliners Live, guys. We get home, we edit, we edit pictures, we prep all the posts, we get YouTube highlights out, yeah. we mod for people like John, who are doing his live streams... Um, we've got our own live streams that we're doing. We're going to be emailing when we get home, preparing for the Barton show potentially on Wednesday. We've got another show on Friday. We have accounts to do. There's a lot more that goes into this channel and business other than just <laughs> the time that we're stood here live streaming, guys. We don't just go home and just, I don't know, sit in the bath for the next four days oh, until I Friday I comes. I doing that. Um, Bib just said it was a joke. Okay, good. Because, yeah, there is a lot more that goes on behind the scenes, ladies and gents, than just the live streams. I think it can be very easy to just focus on the live streams. I um, think and I also, just to think, you are just stood up in one spot for four and a half, five hours. It is, although it doesn't sound like it is, it is quite tiring, guys. It's, um, it's yeah. definitely a... Um, to be fair, if the airport was busier, I would probably... Not mind. Like we would shows. be live for six, seven hours, yeah. but when it's quiet, yeah. like it is now, there's not much going on, and it's not the content that we want to be putting out. Exactly. So. Yeah, we want our streams to be, um, you know, whenever we're live, we want it to be exciting and stuff going on. So it kind of degrades that if it's just like 
long stretches of quiet. No worries, babe. Appreciate you, mate. I'm gonna put another layer of hood over the headset. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's getting, getting heavy again now, isn't it? Yeah, it's not not nice. This. I'm surprised my pants don't seem. Oh, that pants. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've got one really dry leg and one really wet leg. Yeah. <laughs> Is it raining? Yes, it is raining in Manchester off-world, yep. Just a bit, lad. It's hard to tell, actually. I mean, if you look closely, you can kind of see it. My dad is the pilot. I, I can't believe all these guys. My dad is the pilot on the 330. Yeah. We, we're getting a lot of these type of comments in, <laughs> and it's really hard to figure out who's telling the truth or not. Days. Do you know what I mean? That's the problem. And I'm not taking away from the one person who is telling the truth. I apologise, but we get these comments a lot at the moment. <laughs> hey, if he does an announcement, though, and you record it, and you get it in a VIP lounge, yeah. <laughs> we'll believe you. Yeah, there's a bit of a flood on the ground, isn't it? Um, can we see your setup? Your mics are so good, says Leds. Um, uh, so we can't really see anything right now. Is the problem? I mean, I can show you what I'm doing. <laughs> Go on this then. is this is me right now, ladies and gents. You can see we've got a headset, microphones on. Brown Bill's got one as well. I've got one too. Um, yeah, pretty wet. Look at my legs. Look at that, eh? <laughs> Give me coat. Looking good. Yeah, that is soaked. It, well, looks, it looks like it's made of like a nylon, you know. Like, well, this isn't waterproof, mate. No, it's not waterproof. This is the coat that I put on when I think it's going to be dry and, and cold. And cold, yeah, so yeah. I just put this on as warm. I've got a waterproof one at home. Yeah. Silly me didn't check the weather, and I've put the wrong one on, and now it's going through. But anyway, it's um, yeah. But these are the headsets. We've then got another microphone that we use for the aviation audio down there in the bag. We've got all of our uh, preamps. And the digital mixers in there, which is uh, built into the preamps as well. Um, so, yeah, this is a, the brand new setup on Airliners Live, <laughs> bringing you all the latest and greatest audio and visual in live aviation, ladies and gents. Yeah. No matter what the weather is. There's a super chat as well. It was a £10 super chat from Bib the Builder. Thank you very much, mate, for the support. Really appreciate Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. With a spray off this. It's one of the benefits of streaming in the rain. Oh, we do have, um, yeah, we do have waterproofs, but silly me did not put them on today, thinking it was dry. Yo, look at the, the taxiway oh, lights the taxi have just come on. on. Nice. Swivel around and catch that in a moment. But here is the Virgin 330 as well, um, just to the left of us. What do you use for power? Um, anchor power banks. Yeah. We love Anchor. Anchor, if anyone's watching, sponsor the channel, dude, because all of our battery banks <laughs> are Anchor battery yeah. banks. Here we go, the Virgin A330 on the taxi out. And we'll definitely wrap it up after this 3.30 departs. Yeah, 100%. Would have been rude to end things before. Literally, yeah, you're right, Chris. All the decathlon gear is sat at home. <laughs> oh, I've got some of it in my car. Oh, well, it's doing good in I there, know, isn't it? But it's, it's, I mean, it's a bit late now, isn't it? We have the gloves on. Well, I, I have my gloves on. Which, uh, <laughs> J-A-W. My postman's doctor's plumber's best friend is the cousin on that flight. <laughs> is the cousin No, on it is. <laughs> my postman's doctor's plumber's <laughs> best friend's cousin is on that flight. All right, okay. Cammy, thank you very much for the five. I appreciate that. Has he just got an announcement from the captain, has he? Yeah. I 
kind of not looking forward to packing the stuff away now because it's going to be such a sensitive it's, yeah it's going to be procedure. difficult because we're going to have to be careful not to exactly, get it exactly yeah everything's going to have to be carefully put away your bag mate is in a massive puddle okay well there's nothing in the bottom of it <laughs> apart from my camera your camera I guess it's like the top in it is it okay good. Yeah, yeah I'll be alright I got another super chat did you read that out uh, yes from Cami thank yeah, you very yeah, much okay. for the five thank you Cami no worries, uh, Edgem. Thanks for following, dude. Anchor what? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's that's a good one, that, because it's what is in power. Hey. Anyone else get the joke now? Okay. <laughs> God, that is absolutely abhorrent, that... that flood that's around us we're kind of on like an island at this point it is actually isn't it we need to get a, a boat to get to them to the other side of the map. <laughs> right i can see a british airways somewhere in that distance uh j and l we've got a um a bag that all of the audio gear is set up in actually the raindrops are like triggering my phone to i know shut. i've just i've just left my phone my phone's got that alert saying that uh I can't use, use the, the charger. charger, yeah, because it, it thinks it's underwater or something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the show today. It's Matt it Smith, I made the right decision to pass today. Oh, you did. Oh, well. I mean, you probably would have... I mean, we were looking at wrapping up as it started, because it was about an hour ago where it started, and that was only when the A380 was, was uh, due out soon. Yeah, Jen was supposed to come as well today. Oh and God. she ducked out. You all made the right choice. You did. I think Mrs. Airliner's live would have been in the car about an hour and a half ago with the heated seat Ooh, on. That would have been nice. Heater on full blast. Hopefully the cafe's still doing chips. Yeah. I think they will be. I'm usually starving by now, but right now I'm not even that hungry. I was thinking that. Yeah. That's just because my body clock is just completely out of whack at the moment. Mate, I've been stupid. I've been staying up till 2am most days. Oh, yeah. Uh, we use Sony equipment, Paul. Um, we don't give out exact camera models and stuff, but yeah, we're using uh, a Sony camera. Yeah. Simon, thank you very much for the 449 Super Chat, dude. Thank you very much. And Colin, thank you very much for the seven months of business class, mate. Uh, Happy New Year, guys. Looking forward to some great streams this year. Cheers, Colin. Really appreciate your VIP support. Yep. So I think the Virgin 330 is lining up on the runway now. Yep. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> Finally there. Look this the is good the timing, actually, because the rain's just easing off, so... Yeah. yeah. Let's stick with this easy, Jeff, for one second more. No worries at all, Grace. That's awesome. Well, you're going to see it here on Airliners Live. Looking very nice in the ref with the reflections and everything. Here we go. 3.30 on the roll. Right, let's catch this Virgin 330, shall we? Um, One last departure. Wild Vision, it's not because they can't be bought by anybody else. It's because we've put a lot of time and effort into researching the best equipment for our type of content. And you'd essentially be giving everyone a free tutorial on how to make good aviation content if we gave all our models out. Trade secrets, my we're, dude. We're about five years into this, dude, so we don't want to just give everyone the know on what we've learned. Do you know what I mean? Wow. 
Wow, great and sound there, there it goes. the three. There it goes, ladies and gents. <sighs> God, take a breather now. That's going to wrap us up today. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Uh, and Krevener just says, hi guys, just wanted to say Happy New Year to everyone. And thanks for that great aviation stream. Thumbs up. Appreciate you, mate. I wonder what the views like if I swiv swivel it around like this. Well, that's a bit selfish. Vision, dude, listen, like, it's not, it's not selfish, mate. We've spent five <laughs> years adapting, learning, changing, trying to make things the best that they possibly can be. That's our brand, mate. We've got to protect that. Man. Course, it's not dude. a selfish thing. It's a, like... Do you well, know you're what more I mean? welcome to do your own research. Yeah. So, right, let's wrap the show up. I don't know how, how visible we are on, on the stream right now. Let's, Can we let's see play it? it. I don't know. Are we, are we, are just, we fresh? Are we fresh? Are we looking fresh? I can't press the light. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, you, I wonder if I can get down here. Watch, watch, the, watch the wire. <laughs> here we are. Get down here, brownies. Okay, hang on. Let's just uh, zoom it out enough. Right, are we a bit of a slow too? feedback on the... Uh, can I see it from here? I, no, there's no way I can see that. Hold on, we're waiting to, for YouTube to catch up. <laughs> watch you, watch uh, your cable. Does that look like I can see you? It does, doesn't it? I'm, here we are. I'm just, just having a look. We're looking good. We're just we're gonna we're gonna say goodbye. This was one of our New Year's resolutions on the channel. Was to say goodbye on camera. There you go. Maybe up a little bit. I think it'll be fine. There you go, ladies and gents. Right, I'll get. I'll pop down. <laughs> right, there we go. Oh God, we go. wait, 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 wait. wait. Are you good? I'm good, yeah. Right, here we go. New Year's resolution. We're doing it on day one. I hope you can see us. Can you see me now? Ladies and gents, thank so, you very yeah. much for tuning in. As always, we've been Airliners Live. It's been very wet, but we're loving it. I know. hope you've enjoyed the stream. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Appreciate you a lot. Mr. Nico Rosberg, I see you in the chat, Sunshine, looking fresh. Yeah. There you go. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in. It's been a great show. Yeah, good return good. to 2022 20, as well. Yeah. A good introduction. Plenty of viewers in the chat as well, and loads of uh, new supporters, loads of members, loads of uh, donations, loads of likes. We've got like 700 new, new subs. subscribers today, yeah. which is huge. Mega. Absolutely awesome. And, and we're soaked. <laughs> We've got big Easy Jet guys in the background as well, looking fresh. You can't see them, but we can. There we are. Give them away, boys. Easy Jet on the taxi. And Ladies and gents, as always, we've been Airliners Live. I'm Martin. I'm this Andy. is Andy. If you're new to the community, hit subscribe. We'll see you on Wednesday, hopefully. If not, Friday, guys. Take care. Thanks for all the super chat. Thanks for all the support. We'll see you next week. Yeah. We'll see you maybe on Wednesday, yeah? Yeah. Enjoy. Guys, thanks a lot. See you shortly. Ta-ra for now. Don't forget the new badge. Yes, Lee. Oh yeah. I will try not to even forget the new badge. End the broadcast. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah, it's working. It's working. Watch your mic. You get destroyed in the rain. We all off. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, just hold that because I'll try and pack these away as quick as I can. <laughs> the sound it makes on my phone when I scroll. It's like a <laughs> it is. I'm gonna have to do 